All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends. Our topic is very interesting. Uh, actually, the topic is about a hadith Muhammad he said, which is very interesting and will show us an other side of what Islam is about. I'm not going to play the video of Zakir Naik, however, you can search it and you can watch it so you can laugh. It's a very short video, uh, but we don't play it, so don't, don't say uh, copyright issue. Wearing uh, a trouser, a trouser sorry, below the ankle without pride. Hijab for men, Dr. Zakir Naik. I mean, look at this hijab. I mean, uh, even the one who they, they put the title, look how stupid they are. Because the word hijab, it is not something you wear. It is something between you and the other person. This is what hijab mean. But how you can teach those idiot Arabic? If you search the word hijab all over the Quran, you will see the hijab never come as something you wear. It is something you put as a curtain between you and the other person. However, this is not our topic. If you wear a trouser and your trouser is down the ankle, Allah will send you to hell. Muslims are very, very worried, sending questions. Please, brother. What is the rule of wearing a man dress or a man trouser? And the Muslims, they meet. And the Muslims, they discuss. And the Muslims from around the world, they are taking it very seriously. It's about wearing a trouser down the ankle. The conclusion, if you wear your trouser down the ankle, you will go to hell. I mean, obviously, Islam is a religion coming from the true God. I mean, this God, he will not send Muhammad to hell for flirting with the wife of his own son when he visited her, as Muslim books reported. His own son wife. But this God will send you to hell for wearing a trouser down your ankle. I mean, isn't it amazing religion? I mean, who can deny that? This God will not send you to hell, Muhammad, for ordering Muslim women to give her boobs to a stranger. Allah will not send you to hell, Muhammad, because you allow women and men to do prostitution, doing muta. Hmm? This will not be a reason to go to hell. Reasons to go to hell in Islam is very far from any reasoning in the world. This is Muhammad ordering men and women to enjoy their sexual activities in the time of Corona, Three days or three nights, if you like to extend, extend. But if you show your, uh, if you wear your trouser and your trouser is been, be, down your ankle, you are in trouble, my friend. You are going to go to hell. I mean, obviously, this is true. This is very serious a crime in the eye of Allah. I mean, how you do that? Now, one of you said to me, uh, you see the picture I put in the cover uh, about uh, the line I draw there. This is a Muslim. Oh, let me open different one. Hold on. This is the way supposedly will take you to heaven, and the way will take you to hell. Okay, what is the way to take you to heaven? If you, are, if you are wearing a dress, the dress should be very short as you see in the screen. The one who is asking me, it says in the hadith above the ankle, that is for a trouser. But the correct way to wear a dress, if you are wearing jalabiyya, in Arabic we call it jalabiyya, then 
it have to be this short otherwise you are in trouble too as you see did you ask yourself why it's shorter than the trouser this is all you see those people they don't do anything unless it is according to their cult didn't you ask yourself why the, the why the dress is not coming down okay at least to the to the to the line of the trouser there's a reason and this is the way the pants should be above the ankle the ankle so if you don't have it this way if you have it like this or like that you are going to go to hell guaranteed mm. but if we go in the Quran the Quran gives different story this guy Muhammad is mentally ill let us go to the yellow pages of Corona in Corona book it says that Allah forgive all kind of sin except shirk hmm? shirk so how Allah forgive all sin except shirk and now you are saying to them that if you wear your dress under the ankle you go to hell well don't ask don't question this is the madman Muhammad and he say as he wish for he is God in earth for the Abdul if you ask any Muslim where we can find that this is Allah saying that to Muhammad there's no answer where Muhammad he get this from there's no answer in fact all the famous football player the one you call them Muslims you are proud about them they are going to go to hell why this is the hadith in front of you Muhammad saying it clearly that the fakhth is a awra awra mean a vagina awra mean a private part so the one who expose it he is exposing his private part the same as the other one who is showing his uh, uh, you know he is uh, uh, he is covering is the opposite direction so you see those guys like uh, uh, the famous uh, Muslims Muhammad Salah and the other guy the Turkish guy what his name what his name I forgot his name there's a Turkish guy uh, uh, he support Erdogan the terrorist how Muhammad Salah he dress the famous Egyptian player who called his daughter Mecca who try to promote Islam who pray to Allah in the stage and wherever he go just to promote Islam how he how what what he dress he go naked according to Islam this is nakedness this is Muhammad Salah but Islamic cult is Islamic hypocrisy cult The one who show above, the one who show above, above his knee, he is exposing his private part. Who said that? Muhammad. Later we will go back to this because we will show you that Muhammad, he do the same. The hypocrite. The hypocrite Muhammad, he is saying to them, if you do this, this is bad, this is wrong, you will go to hell. But he do the same, exactly the same. Zakir Naik making videos saying that if you wear clothes like this showing or sorry you are not covering as we showed you in the picture if you are covering down your uh, 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 down that location you will go to hell but Muhammad said that the one who dress and act like the kuffar he is one of them
Oh, my screen is not on. Sorry, I apologize. It's my fault. So we have to go and do back what we said. Oh boy. All right. No problem. We will go back. I was looking at screen actually. All right. I hope now it's coming for you. No problem. No problem. Take it easy. So, according to Islam, if you are wearing a dress, the dress have to be short like this. If you are wearing a trouser, it have to be stopped like here. This is the Islamic correct way. If you are wearing a pant and it's down, covering down or touching your shoes, you are going to go to hell. It have to unveil your ankle. Otherwise, you are going to go to hell. Guaranteed. All right. Let us go back. I did not notice that the screen is not on. So let us do this. I will put it back. Give me a second. See, because we have too many reference. All right. This is a hadith by Muhammad approved and considered as authentic by the Muhammadan, saying that the one who show his thigh, it's indeed showing a, a aura. It's a aura. It's against Islam. It is nakedness. And those who show nakedness, they will be in hellfire. But Muhammad Salah, he show nakedness. I never saw a Muslim making a fatwa against him. If you wear a short, you are, and the short is above your knee, you have to cover the knee. Not only you cover your, you have to cover the knee. This guy is showing everything according to Muslims. All Muslims, they wear no t-shirt in the top and they wear short when they swim. So according to Islam, no Muslim left. Later we will show you that Muhammad himself, he showed the same as Muhammad Hijab, uh, 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 Muhammad Salah he showed. Muhammad Hijab, by the way, if you remember when he have a, uh, uh, video with the guy, his name uh, uh, Qaidri, the Pakistani guy, the idiot. He was wearing a jeans, and the jeans is full of holes, full of what? Holes, fashion. But Muhammad he said that the one who dress like them, he is one of them. He's not a Muslim no more. And this is Sahih. So look at the idiot Zakir Naik. Zakir Naik saying, if you wear those clothes, you are going to go to hell. But Zakir Naik, he wear a tie. He wear a suit. I mean, look at the stupidity and the hypocrisy. So, if you your pant, I mean, look and look at this funny pant, man. You look you look like Charlie Chaplin. What we need is just to speed your image when you are walking. So look at this hypocrisy. And look at this stupidity. If you wear the clothing. And your trouser going down, your ankle, you go to hell. But your prophet said that the one who dressed like the kuffar, he is one of them. He is not a Muslim. 
So the potato, he is giving people lecture about what to dress, but he himself is disobeying Islam from the first day in his life. I never saw him wearing Islamic clothes, actually, when he's in the stage. You, you're very rare. This guy always wearing a suit, and he is in love with the tie. But isn't it your prophet the one who said that the one who wear the clothes of the kuffar, he is one of them? Not only the clothes of the kuffar, woman tashabbaha bi qawmin, anything you do like them, you are one of them. As you see in the reference, say clearly that this is Sahih. We have a story about uh, Abu Bakr showing his his uh, his uh, he left his address showing his uh, thigh, and Muhammad he said, "Your companion." Ghamara. Ghamara, which means he did something really against God. Big deal. Ghamara. What he did? He left his garment above his knee, as you see. But Muhammad, he do that all the time. You see the potato? And when the people they said to him he did that, he said, Don't leave him, he's my friend. It's okay, leave my friend. Can you okay? And not only that, he said to them, When I say I am a prophet, all of you you said I am a liar except him. Allah sent me as a prophet, you people, but you said to me, You are telling a lie. And this is a proof that none of the Arab at that time believe in this garbage until he conquered them and then he forced them to convert. While Abu Bakr said, he said the truth. Okay, so if Abu Bakr, he said the truth, said to you, he believed in you first, that an excuse that you make an exception. Do you see the hypocrisy? My friend, he is above you. He's above the law. My friend, he gave me his money. Then he said, three times, actually not twice only, here it says twice. Won't you give up harming my companion? But you are the one who said this is haram. If we go in different hadith, Muhammad confirming that the Prophet said, whoever uh, of the Izar comes below the ankles is in fire. And here we have a we have a, a problem. Why, if you show above the ankle, uh, sorry, if you cover the ankle, you are in hellfire. And why it's okay for Abu Bakr to show his thigh, and he is not in hellfire? Because Muhammad, all of Islam is about connection. That's it. Muhammad is God. He is the one who decides who will go to hell, who will go to heaven. In fact, Muhammad, he used to sit and expose his legs so he can show that he have white legs. Let me try to find the hadith. Uh, this is about the Muslim proud about how white the whiteness of under the arm of the Prophet. Have you ever heard of a stupid cult like this? They are sub, they are white supremacist cult, cult. The Prophet brother, he is so white, and I saw how white is under his arm, brother. The Prophet. 
He even used to show his legs and show his thigh and he touched the legs of men. And this is Sahih Muslim. Talking about how white my, that my knee touched the thigh of the Prophet. The warrior got out aside from his thigh and I could see the whiteness. The guy is almost masturbating. What is missing to make a poetry about the whiteness of the thigh of the Prophet? If you remember Muhammad, the one who is teaching Muslims how to wear clothing is the same one who take off his shirt and start kissing a man and the man kissing him in his side. The Prophet, he booked him under his ribs with a stick. He said, let me take retaliation. He said, take retaliation. Muhammad is okay. Have fun. Let us go. Okay. And then he said, "You are, but you are wearing your shirt. I am not. The guy is naked like Muhammad Salah. The companion of the Prophet, which the Prophet is stickling him, is like this. And the guy said to him, Prophet, I'm not wearing a shirt. You are wearing a shirt. So Muhammad, he raised his shirt. And the man embraced him and began to kiss his side. See, this is the Muslim translation saying the man is kissing the side of Muhammad. And supposedly that will make it better. And then he said, this is what I wanted. This is what I wanted. So showing your, you know, showing your thigh is a shame. It is haram. It is a way to go to hell. Muhammad getting naked and letting a man kissing him down his belly, it's okay. And the man is embracing him, it's okay. Covering your ankle with your trouser is a way to go to hell. Allah will not even look at you. Are you kidding me? That's it. You are in hell, they're guaranteed. But Muhammad doing this, it's not a problem. I mean, he's, he's a prophet. Hello, he's a buff. The law Muslim they can have four wives he can have unlimited Muslim they have to pay the worry he don't need to pay the worry Muslim they need witnesses for marriage he do not need witnesses Jibreel and Allah is witnessing the same what, what he did with, with the with the wife of Zaid his son she said to him but what is your witnesses shouldn't we have witnesses in order to have marriage he said Allah who was Jibreel Allah and Jibreel are my witnesses so now I can go have sex with any woman and then people they will say this is fornication I say no I got married from her. Do you have witnesses of the marriage? Yes, Allah and Jibreel. So your thigh is aura. If you dress like people, you are one of them. But all Muslims, those who we see in YouTube, who want to debate us, all of them, they dress like the kuffar. The kuffar supposedly, which is us. And yes, we are kuffar. We reject Satan. Nakfuru bi shaytan Muhammad wa Rabbuhu. Abu Bakr doing that, no problem. If you do that, you are in trouble. And here we need to ask ourselves. When Zach and Naik, he made the video, they asked him, what is the purpose of it? He says, he said, if you, if you think about it, it doesn't make sense. You can watch the video. But the Prophet says so. The Prophet says so. It doesn't make sense. Now, somebody will say, the Muslim, they will say, oh, because if you cover your uh, uh, shoe, that means you are proud. I mean, have you ever heard of how much proud you are by covering your shoe and let us say in certain time people used to do that but muhammad is a proud about himself muhammad he considered women are garbage and muslim men are above mankind 
So if you are being proud, a reason to go to hell, well, Muhammad is the first one to go to hell because he teach you not only to be proud, to feel that you are a person who have the right to oppress others. Quran chapter 9 verse 29, and we have a clear hadith about that, that Muslims are told that they are the best of mankind and a human being, they are not a human being. And actually there's a chapter, it's called Al-An'am, where it says uh, uh, that the kuffar, the Christians, kal an'am, they are like animals. Muhammad, he told the Muslims that you are the best of mankind, chapter 3, verse 110. The best for mankind are those who bring them with the chain around their necks until they embrace Islam, like dogs. They, they have... They have the right to bring you like a dog. They put a chain. So the, when you see ISIS putting people in chain, this is very Islamic. The Quran says, وَإِنَّمَا الْمُشْرِكِينَ najis." The mushrikeen, najis, they are filthy, dirty, and clean. Nothing can clean them. And this is why you see in the way to Mecca, it says Muslims only. Christians, Jews, Hindus, Buddhas, atheists are not allowed for they are filthy, dirty, najis, impure. So let them not to come. Islam, not only as white supremacist cult, Islam is a filthy racist cult because Islam consider a Muslim a race and consider other all other mankind are other race and they are najis they are filthy they are impure how this is can be from god When Muhammad, he ordered the man to cover his thigh. Why Muhammad don't cover his own thigh? Let us see this hadith and love together. And this is Sahih, Sahih Muslim, hadith number 2410. Allah Messenger was laying in the bed in my apartment eh, not the apartment my place and his thigh uncovered so this is not an ex like uh, like by accident it up no he's laying down showing his you know muhammad is sexy we have to admit it so muhammad was laying down and now he is showing his legs. And then men after men, they start coming to the house of Muhammad. And Muhammad showing his legs. Is that true? Or I'm making things up? Maybe Christian Prince making things up. Let us see the story. The story will show us if this is true or not. Allah Messenger was laying in the bed in my place with his thigh uncovered and Abu Bakr uh, saw permission to enter. So Abu Bakr came. It was given to him permission to enter. Hmm? And he came and the Prophet is in the same state, the very same state, which means the thigh or the shank is uncovered. Then Omar thought the permission and he entered. And Muhammad, he did not change his position. Still, he is showing his pretty leg. Muhammad have a pretty leg. He have a, you know, put yourself in his shoe. You have sexy legs and you know it. So what you do? What you do? We have to be honest. I mean, obviously, many people are jealous because the Prophet, he have a very sexy legs. When Abu Bakr, he showed his thigh because Muhammad, he told them that this is a big sin. He said, well, Abu, he committed a big sin. He disobeyed Allah. 
as you see and this is Sahih al-Bukhari 3661 but if Muhammad himself show the same thing it is not a problem so Abu Bakr came Muhammad did not cover Omar came he did not uncover Uthman came then Uthman thought permission to enter Allah messenger sat down and he set right his clothes guys do you see the Muslim translation it says he set right his clothes which means his, his clothes was not right this is not right obviously he is exposing too much maybe he is showing his testicles too if you have any then Aisha she said to him after they left she said oh okay well my father Abu Bakr he came into upon you and you did not stir and you did not observe much care for your clothes arrange in your clothes then Omar he entered and you did not stir and you did not arrange your clothes then Uthman he came and you get up and you set up your clothes right so he said shouldn't I shouldn't I not show modesty to the one whom even the angels show modesty so Muhammad was not showing modesty Muhammad is not the prophet of modesty Omar came it's okay Abu Bakr came it's okay Uthman came no it's not okay because Uthman the angel show modesty to him where is this guy is getting this from Uthman is a businessman he is a rich man that's the whole story the man with the money is, is coming let us sit because I want him to invest in me as a prophet so Muhammad as a person who graduated from the city of Sadum and Gomorrah kissing men down their belly and men kissing him embracing him down his belly he was sitting not in modesty and who is saying that this is your Muslim translation not mine so when Muhammad he teach Muslims about modesty and what to wear what not to wear and he himself is the last one to follow how that can be except that he is the prophet of hypocrites the prophet who want to make a profit money from his prophet claim and I find it very funny that the Muslim themselves they are saying that the prophet was not sitting in modesty the prophet have no problem to expose his skin to men he did not see any problem what is the problem but here you see that all his teaching collapse this guy he says something he do something he and he want the Muslim to follow but he is the last one to follow this is how silly this cult is how we can even take Muhammad seriously look at Muhammad here a man his name Ibn Jarhad informed me that his father that the Prophet passed by him while his thigh was exposed so the Prophet he said cover it cover it your thigh for indeed it is a aura do you see the idiot he go in the street and he school people don't cover 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 your uh, thigh okay cover it it's aura it's a vagina that's mean Muhammad was showing his vagina so why Muslim cannot show but Muhammad he can show because he's a striptease man and he is sexy and you know it his legs is not like yours 
Do you really think that the legs of the Prophet are like your legs? You guys, we get the point. Abdul trying to call me. Well, my Skype is not even open. And I, one million time I say, when I say call me, now Skype is open, you can call me. Keep calling. Waste your time. Here you see that Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. He walk in the street, he school men about how to close themselves, and yet he is the last one to follow what he say. How this man can be considered for a second a prophet of God? In different hadith he says, فَإِنَّهُ أَبْقَى لِثَوْبِكَ وَأَتْقَى لِرَبِّكَ يَا عَبْدُ اللَّهِ Raise up your thawb, your address. It's better for you. Fear Allah. So if you don't do that, you are not fearing Allah. If you don't do that, you are not fearing Allah. All right. Now soon we will open our sky for the Muslims who they are desperately trying to call us. And we will see really if they mean it or not. Let me open my Skype. Give me a second. By the way, yesterday uh, we have a video about uh, uh, his name, Sabil Ahmed. Sabil Ahmed. You can find the link for it in the previous video. Uh, we advise you to watch it. It's a, it's a very good thing to watch. So you can see the stupidity and the lies. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> and the Muslims are saying they are trying to call me. I don't get, here we go. Actually, my Skype is open. I got zero call. Where is the Muslim trying to call me? Let me see. Oh, we have one. Yeah, well, first let us take an order. This guy he asked to call first. This is the first Muhammadan. We have looked like we have two Muhammadan when I talked to me. So we will take the first Muhammadan. Actually, yeah, that's not to waste our time. I will call him. <coughs> Yes, my friend, go ahead. You are live on air. Uh, just give a second. I, I, how do, how do I, on the, hello, can you hear me? Listening, go ahead. Yeah, I had a doubt about the doctrine of the Trinity. Can mm -hmm. you, can you clarify? But you are a Muslim. What do you mean you have a doubt about it? Okay. But, uh, but, my you, dad, but dad, you are a Muslim. Hold on. You uh, are a Muslim. How you say? How you say you are a Muslim and you say I have a doubt about it? A Muslim he he don't accept the Trinity anyway. So why you are lying saying I have a doubt? Oh, oh I, I, I see. I see. I uh, see. Like I I don't have a doubt about its truth. Like what what I have is uh -huh. that I want to understand the doctrine. I'm unable to understand it. Like I I, I don't believe it, of course, but I want to understand it. And I'm I, I'm inshallah going to expose the doctrine here. All right. I've studied its history. I want to course in Bahrain and, and and I'm going to expose it live right now. Go ahead. We are listening. Yeah. <clears throat> Answer my questions. Is God one? Is God is one? My is God one. My I'm God. To Trinity, is my God one? my God is one. Yes or no? My God is one in three person. Your God is not one. He is not even half one. You're right. Okay. And is Jesus God? This is the same God. Still one. 
Okay, 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 fine, 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 fine. Let, let me let me take it through. Hmm. According to the Trinity, God is one. Hmm. Jesus is fully God. The Father is fully God. The Holy Spirit is fully God. But there are not three gods, but there's only one God, and Jesus is not the Father. What on earth is a contradiction if this is not? Okay, let us go with you, and everybody will laugh in a second. When Allah, he appeared to Moses as, as a fire in the tree. Was Allah uh, a tree or a fire? Hold on, hold on, hold on, you see? No, no, you no, asked no, me no, a question, no. uh, you asked me a question. Okay. I'm, uh, uh, please, 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 let us speak like a dog, please. All right, I will give you time to answer. So your Allah is one, but Fine. Allah, he appeared in the tree as a fire and he was a tree. Was Allah one at that time or he was two or three? Because he is Allah, he is the tree, he is a fire. Which one is Allah? What on earth? What? I didn't understand your question. The Quran says in chapter 28, verse number 30, that your God Allah, he appeared to Moses as a tree, and he spoke to Moses from the tree, and he appeared as a fire. So the question is, the fire who spoke to Moses, was it Allah or this is second Allah? The tree who is a holy ground tree, is it third which Allah worse? or the same as Allah? The mic is yours. Which verse, which verse? Chapter 28, verse number 30. Chapter number 28, verse number 30. Hmm. It says, but when he came to it, he was called from the right side of the valley in a blessed or from the tree. Hmm. Oh, Moses, indeed, I'm Allah, Lord of the worlds. Okay, so what? Hmm. What's your question? Do you see it says here the blessed place of from the tree? So Allah spoke from the tree. The tree actually is speaking to Moses. Allah was in the tree or the fire was in the tree or the tree is Allah, or Allah is the fire, or Allah is one and he is in heaven. The mic is yours. Uh, okay, fine. See, in, in Islam, we have we have a doctrine called as Laitha Kamislihi Shai. That means we cannot do tamsil or liken God to its creation. Whenever we, we see anything about God speaking from the tree, or mm. God is above the throne, or anything of that matter, mm. of that sort, we cannot do tamsil, i.e., in English, likening God to his creation. And we, we believe ahad. God is one and only, as the Quran says. And therefore, we cannot do tamsil. What you're asking is, you're basically doing tamsil. Wherever we have a statement similar to God speaking from the tree or anything, we, we believe that this happened in a way befitting God's majesty and we cannot liken it to the creation. I think I have... Hopefully, I'll answer the question. You answer now nothing. You have to answer hold, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You answer nothing. You answer nothing. You said we are not allowed to make them feel. Who say, who asked you to make them feel? I'm not asking you. Allah, He made that them feel. Allah, He said He spoke to Moses from the tree. Allah, He said that He was a fire. Allah, He said that He spoke with the voice of a man. That is, that is that is Tamil, and you did not answer me. So which one of them is Allah? I'm asking you now. So that the fire was in the tree. What was it? In Surah 28, Ayah 30, it says, "But when he came to it, he was called from the right side of the valley in a blessed spot hmm. from the tree. O oh Moses, indeed I am God, Lord of the worlds." Hmm. Okay, and. Okay, so what's your question? What's your question? Look, this guy and then now we're not getting the question. Let me repeat again. It is say is a blast. For, it's, a, it's, it's a spot is a blast. Why the spot is a blast? Because Allah is there. Okay, what is there is the tree. Who was the one was talking? The tree. So Allah said from the tree, I am Allah, your Lord. Does it say that? Okay. So Allah is a tree. Uh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Okay, a CP, CP, listen, fine. Mm -hmm. uh, I'll have to look about what the ulama has said, what the Salaf al-Salih has said about the ayah. Mm -hmm. I cannot die, I'm a layman. Uh, I, I cannot answer directly because this is a matter of well, Aqeedah and... My friend, you and, are, you, you so are a layman. You, you, oh, that, listen, listen, okay, you are saying to me you do not know the answer. So you are a person who know how to refute me about the Trinity and in this little tiny second question, you are layman. So Mr. Layman, nice to meet you. I have more questions about the Trinity for you. In the same the same story about Moses in chapter twenty seven it says, but when Moses he came to the fire. When Moses came to the fire, okay, 
He was called. He was called from the fire, and it says the sound said, "Blessed is the one who is in the fire and the one who is around it." Is Allah the fire? Okay. Talking. Yeah, yeah. Chapter twenty-seven, verse number eight. Chapter twenty-seven, verse number eight. Hmm. It says. Uh -huh. Chapter 27, verse number 8. Where when he came to it, he was called, Blessed is he who is at the fire and who is around and exalted. That is Allah, Lord of the worlds. <laughs> Mentioned when Musa said to his family, Indeed, I have perceived the fire. I'll bring you from there information or will bring you a burning torch that you may warn yourselves. Hmm. But when he came to, he was okay. Okay, so so your question is that who is okay, the one okay. who is the who who is the fire? Me, what you're can asking me? Oh. You're asking me a question which is about in the taqida, which most Muslims will not be able to answer unless they have looked and studied about what the Salaf al Salih has said about. So you are a Muslim, okay? So you are a Muslim, but you do not know. know. Okay, I got your answer. You are a Muslim, but you have no idea what Islam teach. Thank you very much. Now. You are asking me still about no. the Trinity, but still you cannot answer as a Muslim, even if you do not ask the scholars. I mean, why you need to ask the scholars? Isn't it the Quran says that this is a book, we make it in clear in clear details? Does the Quran says that? Uh -huh. The Quran also says, the Quran also says that there are verses which are shubuhat, i.e. which interpretation is not clear, mm. and uh, there are verses which are clear, which are qat'i, and which are, which are shubuhat, mut ayat -e mutashabihat. Okay. So you cannot say that every ayah is clear, Okay, but you said, wrong, but, but, you, but you just said to me in a second ago that those are the answers can be getting from the scholars. So if they are mutashabihat, then they should not be a, a problem for you, for they are not, because the scholars, they knew you said. Secondly, you just mentioned something very funny. You said that this is mutashabihat. Okay, why Allah He made them mutashabihat? Why Allah made them confusing? Is it? Is, is, I'm, not saying, is I'm not saying that this ayah particularly is mutashabihat. I'm mm. not saying that. Mm. It may be, it may not be. I know that when I study ulama Quran or Rasul al Tafsir, mm. but I can't say or comment on it because I need to see what the Tabi'un, the Sahaba, the have said in exegesis and the commentary of the Quran, which I have not, so I cannot comment. No problem, but you just said to me, but you just said to you just said to me that Allah He sent Quran, and this Quran will deceive the Muslims because the Quran have verses which is clear and verses which is not clear, and the purpose of those mutashabihat, which is not clear, is to make sickness in the heart of those who read it. Who is the one who read it? The Muhammad, and not us. We don't believe it no, anyway. No, 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 no. Its purpose is not to create sickness. No, no, no. Okay, read the, the okay, read the read the verse for me. Read the verse. No, it causes sickness. It says, "Wama tashabahu min hubtaga al fitna wabtiga atawilihi." So don't tell me it is not sickness because fitna is a sickness. And then it says, "Fi qulubihim zayr." Those who they have sickness in their heart, they will seek different mean of it. So why Allah did not make it clear? Is he the devil? Uh, what, I'm sorry, I, I didn't. I didn't probably listen to what you're saying. Uh, why well, you are not listening? When you quote for me this verse, you just quoted that. I'm this... listening. I'm listening, but I, I didn't catch it. I didn't understand. No problem. Okay. When you quoted for me this verse to prove to me to what? To prove to me that the Quran is a stupid book. There's a lot of things nobody understands what they mean. Even the Quran says no one knows what. They... Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me finish. It is you who said to me this verse, and the verse saying clearly, no one knows what they mean save Allah. Is that true? certain verses the meaning of it the full interpretation of it cannot be known to us human beings mm -hmm. and we cannot attack islam on the basis on our judgments by those verses okay hold on so no one knows what it means save allah so why allah send those verses okay i'm not saying no one knows i'm saying no one fully knows no it, the, the verse is so clear, don't lie. It says no one knows its hiding meaning except Allah. So don't lie. The Quran is saying clearly no one knows any meaning about it. Save Allah. Okay. Okay. So why Allah so, he sent so you those you verses? Asking, why the last so, so why ayah? Allah? Now you quote for me this verse to prove to me what? To prove to me that there is verses in the Quran. Nobody knows what they mean. Save Allah. Correct? 
Yeah, okay. Okay. Knows. Yes, so yes, yes, let yes. me ask you if this is Allah who sent the book and he said to you clearly that this is a book we make it clear. That's mean this is a contradiction because we did not make it clear. We make it confusing and stupid. And why God want to make it confusing? Because he is the devil. So now you are confused and each time I ask you a question you say oh I am in the in the hold on I am in the confused mood I am a Muslim and we are Muslims who are confused we are born confused we are meant to be confused Allah he decided to make us confused because the Quran half of it is confusing Quran Okay okay Christian priest listen to me mm -hmm. You're asking me a question about Islam. Which I'm not I asking you. I'm not, uh, ask, I'm so I'm not sorry, asking I'm you. Really it is you who quote the verses, my friend. You see, I'm, you see, you make it as if I am asking you. It is you who did not, wasn't able to answer anything. I am, I'm showing you the stupidity of the Muhammadan when they start saying, oh, how God can be one, how God can be two, how God can be three. And when we show them that their God is many God, when your God in the Quran, he says, that it, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, God is one and only. Thank you, thank you. This is a statement taken from the Old Testament. Oh Israel, your God is a God. Hold on, hold on. Let me answer you. Oh Israel, your God is a God. A God is not one, one as unit as as a as number, one as unity. And you Muslims, you took it. Allahu Ahad. If we go right now in the Quran, and if you're trying to learn Arabic, you will see that Quran saying clearly that Ahad mean one off. You can type the word ahead in the search <laughs> engine. Hold on. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Oh, listen. Listen. You are talking to Christian prayers. Let me school you and let me spank you. This is the word ahead in the Quran. I challenge you to find it for me once in the Quran mean wahid. Can you? The word ahead in the Quran yeah, sure. appeared 20 time, 29 times in the search engine. Not a single time mean one except in that verse you mentioned. You must have claiming it's mean one, but the fact is not. Here we go. Chapter 2, verse 102. You go to the meaning, translation, you see, one off. Same. Chapter 2, 136. We will not differentiate between any of them. So one off. Chapter 2, verse number 85. It says, one of them. And it doesn't matter. Listen to me, CP. It's matter. It's matter because you are the one answering me. Why you quote for me a verse? Why you quote? Why you quote for me? Why you? Why you quote for me a verse? Listen, Abdul. Listen, Abdul. Why you quote for me a verse? But yet you don't dare to discuss the verse. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. Listen to me, CP. I have one doubt. I need to get it clarified. I have one question. I'm unable to grasp my mind about it. You just answer me one question. Just answer me this, okay? Is Jesus, did Jesus create Jupiter? Jesus, the, the Bible says that everything created by him and for him. Okay, and, and is, is Jupiter created by the Spirit? Jibreel created by the Spirit? What Spirit? No, no, no. I'm saying... Did is Jupiter created by spirit? <laughs> did, did the spirit create Jupiter? My friend, our God is a spirit. You are ignorant, not like your God. Our God is a spirit. So God, the Messiah, is. Hold on, hold on, just to show you how ignorant you are. Don't you? You are, you are asking me. You see, just, let me, let me, let me school you. God, our God, is a spirit. Your God is not. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Your God, right. your God is not a spirit, and spirit means the power of life. That's mean your God don't have the power of life because life comes from life. Death, a, de a, de a, dead, a dead God cannot bring life. He is dead. Your God is dead. He, do he don't have a spirit. He have no the power of the spirit. So your your God is not a spirit. Your God cannot be the creator of everything. For everything was created by God. Who is God? What is the nature of God? God is the Alpha, God is the Omega, God is the beginning, God is the end. Everything created by Him and for Him. Shut up. And then we see that the Messiah, He is the visible image of the invisible God. If we go in the Quran, we will find that Jesus was the Word of God. Is that correct? Oh, the Word of God, it, 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 the, the exegesis of the Quran say that the Word of God in the Kalima to who? Mm -hmm. Yes, it means Word of God. But the, the interpretation is that He was. Allah said be and he was it doesn't mean that Jesus is is the is the speech of God Jesus is not the speech or the word of God 
Jesus was created by the word of God and the Quran calls him the word of God, but that doesn't mean he's the word of God. The, the, inter the scholars interpret it in a different manner. <laughs> okay, let us see. Guys, look at this. The Quran call him, his, call him the word of God, but he's not the word of God. I mean, you just said something very horrible. The Quran call him the word of God, but he is not the word of God. Yeah, yeah, you're right. In a literal sense, not, but he was created by the word of God. Like, okay. Allah said be, and he was. Okay, let us see if this is true. First of all, this is a big contradiction for the Quran, because did Allah created Adam or Jesus by saying be? He created both by saying be. Where? Can you show me, can you show me the verse? It says that Allah yeah, created sure. Adam by saying be, and he was. Uh, I think it's in uh, chapter 3. Verse number 80, 86, I'm not sure, but let's check, let's check. Hmm. Uh, by my the friend, way, my, friend, my friend, you are an ignorant man. You are showing me the verse it says Allah created by B. I'm not asking you this. Can you show me where Allah created either Isa or Adam by saying B? And he was. I'm not asking you where yeah, the verse sure, is saying sure. B and was. I'm asking you where Allah he created either Isa or Adam by saying B. Sure. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, yeah, Surah 3, Ayah 59, it says, Indeed, the example of Jesus to Allah is like that of Adam. He created him from dust, then he said to him, be, and he was. So Jesus and Adam are similar in, in a sense that they both were created from dust, and both of them were created by saying, be. Okay, thank you very much for saying that. Now, I want you to show me the verses of a creation of Adam. Did he, Allah, say, be, and he was? Or it is absolutely false? You see, you are the one who put yourself in trouble. Thank you for the reference. <laughs> How Allah, how Allah created Adam? How Allah created Adam? He created him from dust. Mm -hmm. uh, like Allah created Adam with his own two hands. Mm -hmm. According to the Athari Creed. Mm -hmm. And? And he, and he blew the spirit into him. Thank you. Like Ruh of Adam into thank, him. Thank you. And, uh, yeah. And? And, and Allah said, me. But where he said be? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You are, you are a liar, you are a fabricator. The verse in the front of us, you just said Allah, He made fashion, He mixed dust with water, that is mud. Then He fashioned the mud in the shape of a man. Then, after that, after we fashioned Him, we blew into Him, chapter 15, verse number 28, 29. Where is be? So, Allah took Him time, He is working using His hands. And he, he mixed the dust with the water, and then he made a fashion of a statues of a man. And after he finished the statues, the, the verse saying clearly, So when I have fashioned him completely and breathed into him the soul which I created for him, then he fall down prostrating. For, so why you are contradicting yourself? No, they are nothing about me. Allah took him time. Allah stopped yes, by using his hands. Surah 3, Ayah 59. Indeed, the example of Jesus to God is like that of Adam. He created him. We got the bad. We got that. But this is but this. Okay, but you, but, you just, but you just gave me a stupid verse because the verse proving that Allah is a liar for he did not create Adam by saying be. Here we go, the Quran in front of you. Allah did not say be and Adam was. When I say be, like in the Bible, God, he said, hold on, hold on. I am made of blood and then in the second time I say I am made of water. No, this is, is no, 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 this is different. This is different. Stop, stop lying. He said, I said to him be and he was. Was he saying to him be and he was? No. He made, he mixed water with, with, with dust. Then the, the, that became mud. And then he fashioned him in a, in a shape of a man. After he fashioned him, he breathed into him. Do you see how many stages? He did not say be and he was. God in the Bible says, let be light, light was. Your God did not do that when he created Adam. Same for Mary. 
Mary, Allah, he sent his spirit, and then his spirit, she blow in her vagina, and then, hold on, hold on, and then the Messiah, he, he made Mary pregnant with, with, with Jesus, and Jesus, after nine months, came to existence as a man. So your God, Allah, is a scumbag, saying stupid things not true, because neither Jesus, neither Adam, neither Adam he said, be and he was. Watching this, need to need to realize that this man is not answering my one question from past ten minutes. I'm asking you one simple question: Is Jesus and what, the why you're upset? Why you're upset? Why you're upset? Because I got you busted. Because Allah, He said, the Quran said, if this is a book, not hold on. The Quran, don't don't, don't shout, don't shout. Let us talk me and you. I, 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 you. You can talk. You can talk. Hold on, hold on. You look, look how upset you are because we got you busted. That your God, Allah, He makes sentence. It doesn't make sense. It's a stupid. I'm asking you again for the hundredth time why Allah he said to Adam he claimed that he created Adam and the Isa by saying be because you said they are similar of their creation I said to them be and was but in the Quran it says the opposite Allah he fashioned Adam he made a clay he mixed the clay that the, the dust with the water made a clay fashion a, a statues of a man then he breathed into him do you see the word be and he became a life creatures and he prostrate so and, and, and the angels actually prostrate for him so where is the word be? Hmm? okay 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 see in one story let's say i am an author of a book listen to me very carefully let me speak okay <laughs> if i'm an author of a book and i say i created i am let's say at one place i say mm. i am made of blood at one place in one complete story and in the same version of the story in the second chapter i say i am made of water these two lines in chapter one and chapter two are not a contradiction they are not a discrepancy my friend i don't they know i don't know how slow you are this is not our topic you are made from a flesh and made it from dust i made this is will not change anything because we are made of all of those this is not a question the question is how he was created, the process of a creation. One verse, hold it up. One, one verse saying, Allah, he said, be. And he was. That's nothing. That's it. There's no need to do anything. He said, be, he was. But here it says the opposite. Same for Isa. Allah, he sent his spirit. And then the spirit breathed into the vagina of Mary. And then we have Isa. So neither of them was created by me. So this is a scam. This is a fraud. Okay, okay, CP, CP, fine. Le, 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 we, we, we are being very chaotic. Le, le, I speak for 30 seconds, you answer it for the next 30 seconds, okay? What does that mean? Well, I will speak for 30 seconds and I'll ask you questions. I will give you, you give my friend, I will, give you, I will give you 30 minutes, no problem. I, I have all the time for you in the world. I will stay with you until the morning if you want. I want an answer. How Allah contradicts himself. How he say, I said be and he was, but in fact, even your prophet, he said, if you go and read your, uh, uh, the, the, the hadith, you will see that your prophet, when he created Adam, he created him after noon. And then Adam, he said to him, finish me Allah before the sun set. Okay, see, CP, I'm going to answer this in, in 10 seconds hmm. and, let, and we will move on. I will not answer you twice. It's I'll not about, you once. What, 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 do, what, do you, what do you mean move on? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Move on? What do you mean? Move on? Are you, are you saying let us run away? What do you mean move on? We will not. We, we are here to prove the truth, my friend. We are going to focus in proving the truth. Yeah. You are calling me to get to. You are, you are calling me. You said you are going to call me to expose me. Until now, nobody exposed except you. Uh, you have not answered my one question. I answered, I answered, I answered, I answered, I answered, I answered. You see, you Muslims are a bunch of crazy people. We answer you, you don't like our answer. You say you did not answer. That's your stupidity, not my problem. So now I'm asking you, how Allah He says something not true? Okay, see, I'll answer in 10 seconds. Allah does not contradict Himself in the creation story of Adam. Allah is doing a contradistinction. I think every honest Christian should be here mm. with an open mind and an open heart, be able to understand what a contradiction is and what a contradistinction is. Okay. And I think I have answered this sufficiently right now. Okay, I, I will go with you. I want you to see that because you are smart, because you are smart and we are not. Uh, I want you to tell me when we say, when you say to me, when you quote the verse that Allah, if you want something to be, he say be. What does that mean? What do you mean? What is that? 
Will you quote for me a verse you do not know the meaning? Allah, he said, be and he was. What does that mean? That means that Allah said, be and he was. Thank you. So Allah said, be and he was. There is no need for any other action because the word be is the act of Allah, is the order of Allah. Allah, he created things by saying be. That's all what he needed to do. But the Quran saying, Allah, he used his hand to create Adam. And Allah, he breathed into Adam. And then Adam come to existence. So what, what's wrong with you? We don't disregard, there's no disagreement. We, we both are on the same page here. Yeah? We both agree on that. Okay, it's fine. No, we're not agreeing. We don't, what, what, no, 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 hold on, hold on. Question. You just say that Allah, he say, be it was. That's it. I ask you what that means. You said, okay, Allah, he just say, be it was. Thank you very much. But the Quran said that Allah did not create Adam by saying be. He did act, took him time. And this is what it is about. Okay, let, let, okay. Ho, 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 wait, wait. wait. Allah, he say be and he create, correct? Correct? Yeah. Okay, did Allah create the earth and the heaven by saying be and it was? No, not necessarily. I cannot comment on that because because that's that's a very in the taqid question. Like we, we cannot affirm or deny it. Well, in Okay, the, let me get you busted. No, let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. Let me get you busted. In chapter 6, verse number 73, it says that Allah created the earth and the heaven by saying be. I didn't know, I didn't affirm. See, if you say me that Allah created by the heavens and the earth by saying be, I don't care. Like, I, I didn't say yes, Allah creates like that. I didn't say no. Hmm. I, I'm saying I don't know. I cannot affirm nor deny. <laughs> That's what I said. I never said okay. Allah created How like that. Allah, let Allah us go to the second like point. That. How Allah created the Isa? Did he say be and he was? Or the Quran telling the truth in chapter 21, verse number 91, that Allah, he sent his ruh, and that ruh blow in the vagina of Mary, and then Isa was. Isa. CP, are you created with, are you, do you, are you created with water? Yes. Are you created? We are not talking about the material, my friend. We are not talking about the material. Are you stupid or what? Are you stupid or what? We are not talking about the material contain you or you are contained off. This is not the question. The question is the process of a creation. Did he say be and he was? The answer no. Neither Isa, neither Adam, neither the earth, neither the heaven was created by be. So your God, Allah, contradict himself and he is a fraud. Look at me. Look, 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 CP, CP. <laughs> we, we, we can go on and on for for this one small minor topic, which is not going to. We, this is not anything. minor topic Listen because to you are the one who mentioned. To, you are the one who mentioned to me. Be no, no, no. and it was not me. So how come now it became a minor? If it was a minor, why you quote for me this verse? Why you Muslim you quote for me a verse, but you cannot stand for it? Isn't it you who quote for me? The similarity of Adam is the same as Isa. He said to him, "Be and he was." And the second we question the verse. You are doing poop on your pants. What's wrong with you? Don't try to run away. Either this is a contradiction or this is the truth. Allah did not create Isa by saying be and he was and the verse is in the front of you. It took a process. He sent a messenger and the messenger is a ruh and the ruh went to Mary and then the ruh go under the skirt of Mary. Very disgusting story. And then he blow into her vagina and then Isa come to existence. So why you are lying? And you're Allah lying. Uh, CP, listen, we, we can we can go on and on. I have clarified myself that it's not a contradiction, but it's a contradiction. I'm not going to say that. Okay, guys, guys, this is a contradiction. Contradiction. What does that mean? My English, my, 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 uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. My, my, my English is not good. I want you to explain to me what contradiction, what contradiction, hold on, what contradiction mean? Uh, my, my English is not good. Explain to me. Contradistinction means, mm. for example, are you, is the sky, for, okay, for, for a bit, a contradistinction means two things at a time, like it's, 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 it's like, uh, in, in, to define in a very easy sense, contradiction means it's, 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 it's a lie, contradiction is lie, it, it's a two different thing, it's a discrepancy, okay. contradistinction, mm. contradistinction, I'll tell you what contradistinction means, mm. contradistinction is like a, distinction like between quality of two things like uh is it, is chicken fat yes is chicken white yes it is both that's a contradistinction anyone understand anything now listen i will make it simple for you 
Did Allah say B to Jesus after he was exist and created by, by the process we saw or before? Did Allah say B to Adam after he used his hand and after he blew in the in the statues and after he blew his spirit in the statues and Adam became existence? When Allah he say B, before he do it or after he do it? Allah do it, I don't know. When, when I don't know, I don't know. Then don't call me again until you know. You are a potato. Because that answer will prove to us that you are a, you are a fraud. Either Allah say be because you should just say, you, you just get yourself busted. You do not know where Allah he say be. Well, he should say be before he created him. You idiot! Not after he created him. <laughs> he don't know. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupidity? I mean, if I am talking to a child, he is five years old, he will say, hello, da, it's clear, before he created him. But this guy, he do not know. After he created him or before. <laughs> you believe it? Is that a comedy show? And if you see the text of this guy in Skype, I will expose you. I want to call you. And he keep calling me. I want to call you. I want to expose you. <laughs> you idiot donkey. You are a certified donkey like your prophet. For in order for this to be true, Allah he should say be before any creation happen, not after. I built a house and then I say, hey, house be house. I built it already. <laughs> I never saw a Muslim. He have a high IQ. Actually, they don't have Q at all. And you are my witness. How in the world you are even an adult? Go change your, your idea, your age, you know, go to the court, tell them I am, yes, I am 30, 40 men years old, but I have a brain of, of six years old. I say to you where he said be after he created or before, you say, I don't know. Well, he should say before, otherwise going to be funny to say after, B, he was his existed. The guy is already talking. And not only guys, Adam, after all this process, he have a conversation with Allah. Adam, he sneezes. Ha, 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 Allah, he said to Adam, may Allah bless you. And then Adam, he look at Allah, he says, please Allah, finish me before the sunset. Where is B? <clears throat> Let me show you the hadith. So people will not say we are making things up. <laughs> you know, they are copy-paste religion. Nobody understand what he is talking about. They don't know what they are talking about. They are copy paste. You have a questions. And actually we can prove the Trinity from the Quran, but the wrong Trinity. The Trinity we don't approve. Uh, let us see if we can find the Hadith in Arabic and in English. <clears throat> All right. Let me see if I can find it. I can find it in in, uh, in the English actually in uh, Ibn Kathir, but I, I want to find the Hadith. Maybe now. No. I found a hate in Arabic, but I cannot find it here in the English uh, page. 
But anyway, in Arabic, there's tons of that, that, all those uh, reference. This is Al Qurtubini Da Al Iman. You know, it says that Allah, uh, when He was creating Adam, He, uh, Adam, He asked Allah to finish created him creation creation of His creation, and He said to Him, "Qala Ya Rabb, akmil khalqi fa inna shamsa ala al ghurub." O oh Allah. Finish my creation because the sun is setting. In different hadith, in Tafsir al Kabir, it says, "Istajil khalqi qabla ghurub al shams," and this is exactly what the Quran says. "Wa kana al insanu ajula." What the insanu ajula mean in the Quran? That Adam, when Allah was creating him, he was hasty, asking Allah to finish him before the sun set. How you say to me something you do not know? How Allah He says stupid stories like this? Finish me, Allah, before the sunset. <clears throat> Let us see if we can open it from Ibn Kathir. Chapter 17, verse number 11. I hope that will work. Because I don't like to mention something and then I don't give a proof for it. <clears throat> Here we go. This is Tafsir Ibn Kathir. This is what? Tafsir Ibn Kathir. This is not me speaking. And by the way, Ibn Kathir is a big fat liar, Muhammadan, who made all his tafsir not to explain the Quran, but to defend Islam. Because the Christian, they ripped Islam badly in his country where he lived, in Syria. When Allah, how Allah created Adam? Read carefully. Salman al-Farisi, which is coming from and Ibn Abbas, all of them, they are coming the story from Muhammad. When he wanted to get up, his soul reached his feet. And when his soul was breathed into him, you see the stages? And enter his body from his head downward. When it reached his brain, he sneezed. Hachoo! And then he said, Alhamdulillah, he speak Arabic. Adam, he speak Arabic. He's, he's born, he speak, I, the guy, he exists right away, he speak Arabic. But Arabic wasn't exist. And then he said, Alhamdulillah, praise be to Allah. And Allah said, May your Lord have mercy on you, O Adam. <laughs> when it reached his eyes, he opened them. And when it reached his body and his limbs, he started to stare at them. And he, in wonder, he wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not. So he said, O oh Lord, O oh Lord, make it happen before the night come. So until now, even his creation is not over. Until now, even after he breathed into him, he is not done. And this dummy is calling us to prove us wrong. And you think you can debate a Christian prince? I will not even dare to debate myself. I will lose. Once I try it in the front of the mirror, speaking to myself like Muhammad, hearing voices. And if you see how excited he is in the sky, he want to call me, he want to call me, he want to call me, he want to call me. I want to expose you. You think that this guy, he's going to eat me alive. I said to myself, let me get some glue, because always those people, when they call me, they destroy me pieces. I'm number one buyer for a glue from Amazon. Now, to finish this topic, let us show you how we can shut them up so easy. You see, I was taking him step by step until I took him to the cliff a cliff of no return. Take him to his God, the God of hell. 
Satan. This is the Quran, the only verse speaking against the Trinity with the clear words. All people of the book commit no excuse in your religion, nor say Allah ought but the truth, Christ Jesus, the son of Mary, between two brackets was no more than. This is not exist in the Quran, but we will let it go. A messenger, okay, let us go. I will go with the, the Quran, brother. He was what? He was a messenger. As a what? As a man. So he was a man. I want this Abdul, this idiot, to be listening. He's a man. So the Quran confirmed he's a man. And his word. The guy, he said, oh, we call him the word of God, but not literally. That is your fiction. Are you more clear than the Quran? He is in the same time. You see, he was not saying he was a word. He's saying, and his word, which he sent down to Mary. So this word is coming from where? It's coming from above. From where? From God. When this word came to the earth, this word became what? Man. And this word and this man have a spirit which is proceeding from God. Do you see it? Proceeding. The spirit of Jesus is the same spirit of God. I in G. Not a spirit created. وَرُوحٌ مِنْهُ In the whole cult of Islam, there is only one, the Muslim, they can call him. The Word of God and the Spirit of God. That is Jesus. And I changed the Muslim to say, I'm a lion. And the Hadith says that. Muhammad, he said, when in the judgment they come, the people, they will come to Isa and they will say to him, Ya Ruh Allah, O Spirit of Allah. Well, if ever all of us, we have the Spirit of Allah, why is only him? We call him the Spirit of Allah. In all of Allah, we have the Spirit of Allah based on this. If the Spirit is a creation of Allah. Only Isa is called the Spirit of Allah. Only Isa is called the Word of Allah. And this is expressed in the Hadith. And because I don't like to say things without showing proofs and reference, let us find the Hadith. Here we go. Walakin. The hadith is speaking about, okay, to go to who? To who? Go to Isa. Isa ruhullahi wa kalimatahu. Fayatuna Isa ruhullah. Wa kalimatahu wa yaqulun. Read carefully, Abdul. Fayatuna Isa ruhullahi wa kalimatahu. Fayakula lahum. Lesta hunakum. What they will say to him? Translation. The Muslim translation, not mine, because, you know, they might say, oh, the Christian prince don't even know Arabic, brother. What they will say to Isa? Spirit of Allah and his word. Guys, did it say that? You better go to Isa, Jesus. The Spirit of Allah and His Word. That means this is a title and description and attribute have to do only with one person. That is Isa. He is the Word of God. He is the Spirit of God. And he is a man in the same time. Well, that is a three in one. That is in your stupid Quran, Abdul. Your dumb Quran just confirmed that you can be three and one in the same time. 
Jesus is the word of God coming from the sky. Yet he is the spirit of God proceeding from God. Yet he is a man, a messenger. And this is what the book of John says. In the beginning it was the word. And the word was with God. And the word is the God. In verse number 14 says, And the word became a flesh. The word what? Became a flesh. That verse is trying to copy John chapter 1, verse number 1 and 14. And the funny, the same verse says, don't say Trinity, but you just confirm a form of a Trinity. Don't say Trinity, but you just confirm that you can be. It's possible for someone, only for someone like Jesus. Not for me, not for you. This is for Jesus only. As you see, the hadith say clearly, only one person, he is, his name is, his name, Ruhullah, Spirit of Allah. His name is the Word of Allah. It's a name to, given to him. That means it's unique. Like the Muslim, they have names for every prophet, supposedly. Like uh, Musa's, they call him Kalimullah. Why? Because supposedly Allah, he spoke to him. Actually, in the same hadith, it says that. Go to Moses, the one who Allah, he spoke to him. Huh? Go to Moses. You better go to Moses, whom Allah conversed and conferred the Torah to him. He spoke to him. He gave him the Torah. Which is very funny, I see it, because supposedly Allah, he spoke to everybody. I mean, not only the only one who did not speak to is Muhammad, which is very weird. Allah spoke to Abraham, Allah spoke to Isa, Allah spoke to Moses, Allah spoke to everybody, even to Satan. The only one Allah never spoke to is Muhammad. Time filed, wanna call me? Okay, he can call me, no problem. Who's holding him? Abdullah, a man, a mean, a man. Is that you? Okay. Answer, my friend. Abdullah, answer, man. We have somebody else, I know. Uh, this YouTube is messed up. We are calling somebody and somebody else called and we are with him. Oh boy. Hello? Hold on, this... Uh, th hold on, hold on, hold on. The Skype is messed up, I don't know what happened. It's stuck. We will stuck until tomorrow. What? The? <laughs> I called the other guy. Someone else called me. We answered him and we are stuck with the ringing. We'll go forever. I have to restart Skype. Hold on. Give me a second. Let us first be sure he's a Muslim. <clears throat> Only if you are a Muslim, you can call me, please. And when we are in the other channel, Quality of life, non-Muslims can call. Christians can call. <clears throat> Let 
talk to me the, the same guy is asking me to talk to him again i mean you're just a kid each time i ask you something you say i don't know let your dad talk to you to me okay this guy is a muslim alhamdulillah he said he's a muslim <coughs> Yes, you are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. You just you just commit sin, my friend. Why you say to me assalamu alaikum? Hi, <laughs> CP. Uh, yeah, can I ask you something? I just said to you something. You I need just... to answer. The Prophet said, "Don't agree the Christians and the Jews by salam." Wow. Why you commit sin? Why you are saying to oh. me assalamu alaikum? <laughs> yeah, because um, in Arabic. You know, I always say assalamu alaikum. Okay, so though, so you are you, you, you are, know, are you going to repent? So you agree that you have to repent now because you commit a crime against Allah. You said to me, peace to you, Christian, and you should not say peace to me, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay, so thank yep. you. So Islam is a very nice. So religion. anyway, uh huh. He should not say to me uh, assalamu alaikum, guys. Muslim are not allowed to say Christians assalamu alaikum because they have to kill them because you cannot give them peace. You have to kill them. Hmm. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> So you gonna kill me? <laughs> no, you are the one who's saying anyway. that. You are the one who's saying that. Not me. You are not allowed to say to me "Assalamu alaikum." For me, I answer you. I said "Wa alaikum assalam." Right? I ask you, mm -hmm. did your prophet yep. say that you cannot say "Assalamu alaikum"? You agree. So your prophet he ordered you to not to say oh. "Assalam." Why? Because you have the duty to kill us. Go ahead. Well, I thought it's in the uh, in Saudi Arabia, you know, tradition. Um, they always say. You know, assalamu alaikum. It even is not in you know non-Muslim. Hmm. Let us see. We have a Muslim trying to call me, my friend. Hold on, I will go back with you. I will go back to you. Hello. Hello. Yes, you are live on here. You are saying take my call, and you are desperate. What do you want, my friend? Go ahead. You are a Muslim, right? No. You are a Muslim. Yes. Okay. So talk. Here we go. You are live on air. What do you want to say? Okay, go, go, man, go. I thought you are a man. It turned to be you are a kid playing with his toys. I'm going to drag the words from your mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I'm talking to a zombie. Either you call me to talk to me or don't call. Hello. Hello. Yes, my friend. Finally. You are live on air. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Finally, yes, I've been Muslim for 13 years now. Okay, 13 living. years. What does that mean? You are 13 years old now? Uh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, I want to, I want to, I want to, I want to, uh, hold on, hold on, because the voice, listen, man. The, yeah, this is Jibreel, my friend. This is Jibreel, my friend. Jibreel is talking to you. Hold on, hold on. It, the voice is, is like two voices. Yeah, it's me, like two voices. Okay, mute YouTube, mute YouTube. Mute, 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 hold on one second, mute, okay, huh. okay, I'm mute, I'm mute the YouTube, can you hear me? I hear you, go ahead. Hello? <laughs> okay, 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 perfect, perfect. Hmm. Okay, so I don't, you know, I've been Muslim for 13 years, hmm. so I wanted to know, you know, I just wanted to talk, you know, no I problem. didn't know anything about Hadith hmm. when I became Muslim. Hmm. What do you want to say to us? Sure, I, Can you turn I the TV just, on? I, Can you turn the TV off, please? Oh, oh, my TV. Because okay. I hear, I hear, a, uh, I hear like a TV or radio. I'm not sure. Okay. Can you can you hear me now? Hmm. Huh? Yeah, Hello? I hear. I hear you. Go ahead. Yes, I I I wanted uh, I wanted you to just you know uh, show me show me stuff. Let's discuss anything. Just show me anything because. Okay. I haven't uh, I haven't seen anything, you know, aside uh, from we we I know we have forty thousand hadith hmm. and um, we have the Quran. Hmm. I haven't read all the hadith. So hmm. are you are you an Af have, are you an African, my friend? I'm American. Yes. American African, correct? Yes. Okay. Yes. Do you I, know? I mean, African American, you, you would say. Yeah. Correct, I really correct. don't like using African American because, 
that name came from Jesse Jackson. My friend, I am I am not a born American. English is not my first language, so take it easy on me, okay? I don't know who said that. I'm just using my little tiny uh, uh, English skills to speak to you. Is that okay with you? That's fine. You, okay. sound, you sound good. It doesn't. Yeah. I yeah. understand. So you. I am not quoting somebody. I do not know anyone. I am an immigrant. I am not born in USA. English is not my first language, so I'm not quoting anyone. I'm using my little English. Uh, words which I knew I know to use and I mean no disrespect I'm just trying to find out who are you now do you, what do you think yeah. what do you think about a, a religion teach that all those who want to enter the heaven of Allah Allah will make them white all of those who would enter the heaven Allah would make him white correct what do you say about that I that's not in I didn't never read that all right now, if I, I never, if I, is if, it in the Quran if this is true, my friend, if this is true, are you willing to leave Islam? Uh, I'm gonna need more convincing than that because you so, know. So it's okay. So, so it's okay, my friend. Okay. This is not, not an easy decision. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, my friend. It's not about how many years. It's about is that is it's about how awful the truth is. So do you accept really exactly. somebody? Do you accept somebody teaching? That all uh, 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 like black people didn't deserve to go to heaven. But I, I don't believe that though because it, I didn't read that ever. Okay, well, uh, I'm going to show you a hadith where it says it clearly okay. that Allah Prophet He created. Oh, sorry, uh, uh, Allah He created the the uh, the black people and the white people from the right shoulder of Adam. And he said to the white people, "You go to hell, and I don't care." And I uh, and he said uh, to the black people, he created them from the left shoulder, which means from the sin shoulder. And he said to them, "You go to hell, and I don't care." Let me find the hadith. Okay, because this is actually conflicts with um, many many statements from the Quran and from other hadith and from the Prophet's last sermon. And then I could only imagine if the prophet is telling people Moses is black, Adam is black, and so on. And where so where he said that? Where 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 a prophet says Moses was a black? That's a big fat lie. Where uh, Allah uh, Muhammad okay. he said this is this is this is they told you a lie, my friend. Here we go. The Quran says it clearly that even those who they are, like the the black stone was white like milk, but the sin of mankind made it black. Correct. I heard of that before yes. okay so what does that mean that's mean that sin make you black no it's it, t t you asking me what that mean to me or to you yeah to you to you I'm asking you now if this is okay. if, why the black stone became black because the sin what he said he said the sin of mankind made it black yes yes that's true um, okay. th how, what do I take from that if you're asking me that I'll take I think from that because I know that the term white, because I'm a student of history, okay? The, the term white was, was never used for Europeans. The term red was used for, for Europeans. So when you say white, it could mean pure as snow, as, as the Nazarite. Okay, we will see. We will see. Christian. Okay, we, so we will I, see. I, no, that we are talking about literally, this is a storm, my friend. This is not meta metaphorical. This is a real stone. It's a physical stone. It is not about like white hard, dark hard. This is not what we are talking about. And I'm sure your English is way better than mine. So we are talking yes, about yes. physical stone. Now, no. I want you to look for me. I I'm going to show you a hadith in the screen. I will put it in a second. And okay. I want you to read it for me. And I want your opinion to tell me what do you think. Let me wait okay. for you. Give me a second. All right, it's in the screen. Go ahead. I, I don't. I don't see anything. I maybe, see a, a globe. A globe moving. Maybe. Maybe uh, it will take a second for you to refresh, and you will see it. I could look it up if you just give me the hadith. No, no, no. It's uh, okay. It's in the front of us. It's in the front of us. I, I, I'm sure by now we should I should have it. We are actually, it, it, actually, it the actually, the admin, the, the, the admin is posting the link. There you go. Okay. It, it is. There you go. Okay. Go ahead. Narrated, narrated a bud, 
Darda, hmm. Allah's messenger, peace be upon him, said, Allah created Adam when he had to create him, and he struck his right shoulder, and there emitted from it white offsprings as if they were white ants. He struck his left shoulder, and there emitted from it black offsprings as they were charcoal. He then said, to those who had been emitted from to those who had been admitted from the right shoulder for paradise and not mine and not mine then he said to those who had been admitted from the left shoulder is blocking uh can you scroll up a little bit is the the the, the time is blocking okay. the, the the rest of the words there we go He said, they are for hell, and I don't mind. So the black people, they, they are they, for hell. They are, I did, I, it's not, I can't see, but okay, I'll take your word for it. So he says, they something, something, and I do not mind. Hmm. They right? are, they are for I, hell. They I, are I, for hell. I make it clear now for you, you can see it. I, I, they are for hell, and I don't mind. So Allah, when he created the human being, he created them two kind. One from the right shoulder uh -huh. of Adam, and right shoulder present the the right one the good ones always in religion yes. right hand mean the right decision to do the right people left is the evil one so he created the yes, white we are, people we are people from the right you're you're absolutely right people from the right we are we're, we're called people from the right so yes i, I understand what you're saying the, the 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 white people they are from the right hand not you okay the the white the white people. read read carefully my friend it says he hit the right shoulder and emitted from there the white of a spring as if they were white ants, correct? Yes. Okay, the blacks, and then he hit his left shoulder and from that emitted the black of spring, correct? Yes. Okay, and then he said to the one from the right, which means the white, you go to heaven and I don't care. And he said Who to the said one... That? Allah okay and then he said to the one who are created from the left shoulder which means the black you go to hell and I don't mind so according to the faith of the culture of Islam which is absolutely disgusting you as a black person you are created come to on. go to hell what come uh, on I'm showing you my friend this is not this is your Muslim website you're a Muslim I mean, I don't see the website or anything. I just see words on the screen. It looks like the somebody ad, typed it. The admin, you know? the admin is posting the link. You can open the link. You can read it yourself in the chat, in YouTube chat. Okay, give, give me, uh, give me, give me the hadith. No, let's let's make sure that this is a sahih hadith. Hadith at Tirmidhi, hadith number thirty-eight, and this is the website alalm.com. And here we go in the front of alalm. Sorry, alalm.org, which means knowledge.org. Hadith num number forty-eight. Thirty-eight. At Turmudi 38, 30. this is how they label it. Hmm. And the admin is already posting for you the link, my friend. You can click at the link which is shown in the screen in the in the chat if you want, and you can open it. It's almost like somebody's talking next to us. My friend, Allah Messenger said, Allah Messenger said, that Allah said, that Allah did, Allah created Adam, and he said, and, and it, so who is the one is talking here? Muhammad reporting what Allah did and said. So the story is having two people only. Muhammad reporting what Allah he did and what Allah he said after creating the white and the black. So he created the black, he said to them, you go to hell. And he created the white and he said to them you go to heaven okay and that's and that's a hadith yes this is a term of the hadith number 38 and here we go i will post the link again for those okay. people who want to read it including you in the chat so you can click on it then you can check okay um hmm. I'm, I'm actually looking it up right now hmm. Um, it says this hadith is not authentic. 
Where, who's saying that? Uh, who's saying that? I'm looking. At, I'm looking online. I'm googling it right now. Are these not sent? My friend. My, my, uh, my, okay. Okay. Can, okay. Can, my friend. My friend. Anything will make Muhammad look bad. The Muslim they say it's not authentic. And here we go to a, the, we go to a problem. Hold on. If I show you a hadith is authentic, they will still not accept it. Let me ask you. Did, 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 did I hear that you have a dog at home? I have two dogs. Yes. Okay. Are they black? Uh, one is gray and one is uh, brown. Okay. Do you believe really that the black dog is the devil? Uh, I believe the hadith you're talking about was talking about wild dogs. Doesn't matter. No, it, it says a black dog. The black dog is the devil. Do you believe in that? The black, the black dog is the devil. Mm -hmm. Who said that? Muhammad. He said the black dog is the devil, or is he talking about the specific situation where he went and killed all the dogs? No, he spoke about black animals in general and specific black dog. Here we Do go. I believe he's the devil. No, the, the, I believe the devil is uh, is a. Uh, like a creature, not a creature, but like... Okay, no problem. But, you know, but this like, is the hadith, this is the hadith, and this is authentic. But yet the Muslims now, after they see it, they will say, oh, we refuse this one, this one is stupid. Read it. The Messenger of Allah said, when any one of you stand for a prayer, there are there's things before him equal to the uh, uh, back of the saddle that cover him. And in case there is not before him, things equal to the back of the saddle, his prayer would be, cut off which means the, the not accepted by passing off an ass a woman and a black dog so muhammad made it clear that three things will disturb and will destroy the muslim prayer will make it invalid the a red dog and the yellow dog no hold on you see don't jump then i said oh, okay, okay because he said the black dog he's the black dog and then i said okay. the guy he's asking the narrator the one abu Dhar, the, the companion of muhammad abu Dhar is a person who used to accompany muhammad so he can eat a free food with him what is the feature <laughs> yes that's what it says what is the feature is there in the black dog which distinguish it from the red dog because he's, he's wondering why the prophet mentioned the black dog what about red dog what about white dog what about yellow dog he said oh my son oh the son of my brother i asked the messenger of allah as you are asking me he said the black dog is the devil what do you think about this he said uh, if um, he said oh son of my brother i asked the messenger of allah as you are asking me and he said the black dog is the devil hmm. okay what do you, what do you um, think do you think maybe this is a metaphorical devil? My friend, my friend, my friend. What metaphorical? Uh, my, my, my friend, my friend, my friend. I, I, I trust you're intelligent. I'm sure you are not a, you're not a stupid person. Is he talking about a dog? He will walk in the street. Yes, right. Yes, he's talking okay. about a so, physical dog. Yes. So what is the dog which is only the bad one? Is the black dog? So this is a physical. This is not metaphorical. What is the difference between the black dog and the white dog and the yellow dog? The color. Do you agree? Agree. Okay. Muhammad he said the black dog is a devil. Yes. Okay. How in the world that can be true? That's because he's a black. He's devil. But are you saying black people are dogs? My friend, I'm not saying that. I'm saying Muhammad he considered black color is the color of the devil just because the poor yes. dog. Okay. Oh. Okay, so you, you agree that the black dog is really a devil just because he's black? I believe that the color of the devil is not red, it's black. I, I believe the devil is a black figure, it's not, he's not red with a okay. tail and horn. Okay, hold on. I don't believe why, why the devil is a black? Because everything is, is pure, is white. Pure is white. So you are, See, so you are saying to me you are not, not a pure now? You, because you are black, you are, not, you, are, you are not pure. You are saying that to me? No, I'm not black. You are the black? I thought you are black, African. You told me you are African. Yeah, I, I'm African. Black is a color. This is I, I'm not a color. I'm I'm brown. Oh, black, okay, okay, guys, he is not a color. But and I look, okay, okay, huh? okay. But but you but the but the devil the devil is a person too, and the dog is a creature. So he's not a color too. But Muhammad divine no, him as as devil no, by his yes, color by the color of his fur. Actually, he ended the no. fur. 
under the fur not necessarily he is black so the fur the hair of the dog made him the devil for muhammad don't you think that this is because a man is racist and he hates black people how, how would he be racist when he came uh, on the last sermon and said there's no superiority okay you, between you are the one you are non -Arab, all right a black and a black that that is a white, that is a remember? fabricated hadith you are the one i just gave you a hadith you said to me this is daif but that hadith is daif too this is no, I didn't say that. I looked it up on the internet. I never heard of this hadith. Yeah, but so but I looked but, it up but no, but no, you see, but you see, the hadith you just quote me, it is not cannot be true because simply is not mentioned in any of the Sahih books. Number one, no, we cannot find it in any Sahih oh. book. This hadith about this the last sermon. This is a fabrication about the black and the white is are equal. That's a lie. And isn't it Muhammad? He said, you know, uh, he he made fun of the Ethiopian African. Did he make fun of them? Yes. Okay, so how he is, how he is, a person who don't discriminate and there's no difference between them, and then he made a fun from the look of a human being who is just because he's an African, he make of him, says, obey your chief, because Muhammad, he hired African people to be, they are slaves still, they are slaves. So they are very good in fighting, they have a very strong, a strong body, so he made them chief of the fighters just only in that day. And those white Arab, they say, oh, this is a black man, he will be a leader. He says, listen to him, obey him, even if his head is a rising head. Do you see it? Yeah, yeah, rising head. Okay. Yes, I heard of this. I read this before. Okay, yes. how in the world this is a prophet of God? I, because in actuality, the the Arabs were ruled by Africans. Okay, but the, the, so but what 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 the, the Arab the Arab the Arab are ruled by African. Where and when this happened? The, the Moors the Moors were black Africans and they ruled over who, there. Who is the Moors? The who Moors. is the Moors? I never heard of them. Who is the Moors? I never heard of this. The Moors. Who? The Moors is uh, the Moors uh, from Morocco. They ruled Spain for eight hundred years. They were slaves. My friend, became, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Those became, are the white Arab. Those are not the African. Those uh, are the Arab who came. Tariq ibn Ziyad. Who is Tariq ibn Ziyad? Go and check, my friend. What are you talking about? The, the more and actually now, actually, actually, until now, the Moroccan are not considered as black or even African. They are considered now. as a race as white. No, not only now. Because those people actually, if you go to Morocco and Tunisia, you will see people who they are totally still blonde. They have a green eyes, blue eyes. What are Absolutely. you talking about? Listen, 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 You're listen, right. listen. Okay, listen. I, to listen. I told you I'm a student of history. I know, you, I know why they became white. Because the slave trade from the west, west part of Africa took the Moors with them. 30% of the American slaves were Muslims. Moors, my friend, black. This the, the, is you, 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 are, you are deceived. You are deceived. The what one who was buying and capturing the slaves, the one who's buying the slaves was the white man in Europe, but the one who was capturing them is North Africa. They are in control until now. Since then, they are in control of all the that's shore. Not, that's not true. Oh, I'm okay, a in history. who is who true. is the one in control of Morocco? Muslims or now? Christians? No, before, in the time of slavery. This is, this is a barbarian country, and then the Arab came and they forced them into Islam. So stop fooling yourself. And the one is in charge. No, 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 are no, they? No, okay, no, are no, they? No, okay, no, okay, no, okay. The one you call them Moors, are they Muslims or Christians? Yeah. Now, you agreed they are Muslims. Because all yeah, the market, yeah. okay, they, they, all, all the market of slavery was captured by Muslims and then sold to the white man, correct? No, wrong. What do you mean? No, you are the one who just said to me that the one who controlled Morocco oh. is Muslims. Islamic Empire came mm -hmm. with the swords out, was on the conquest of the Islamic conquest to Morocco. They freed them from the Byzantine. They kicked the Byzantine Empire out. The Moors started controlling their land. Mm -hmm. They became kings. They became rulers. Name for me. Name, name for me. Spain. Okay. Name for they me one king. Again. Okay. Name for me. One king, he was from them when the Arab invade them. I'm sorry, one more time. You said you said they became kings. Until now, we can we cannot find one king who ruled them because the king of Morocco, even now, he is supposedly descendant from Muhammad, so he's an Arab. What are you talking about? I'm not talking about. I'm talking about the Moors, my friend. My friend, the none Moors. of them became a king because the Arab took over. I'm saying no, to you, okay, name Moors. for me, okay, name for me one king from those you call them Moors, which I never heard of them. I don't know what the name you're talking okay. about. Name for me one of the king of the Moors. He is a king after the Arab took over. 
Mensen moesten. Mensen moesten? Mensen moesten. This is a Moors. Which year? Which year he was a king? In 1342. 1342? Yeah. So all this time he it took him to to be a king. But this is but but isn't it, this is the no, one? Is it? Is it? Is it? This is okay. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Is he is he descendant from the prophet? Is he a descendant from the prophet? I, I, I don't care. I, it so matter. how he, he is African, not. but he is descendant from the prophet. The prophet is a white Arab. No. Okay. Do you know that the in certain time, Islamic countries, Arab white people, they have more black people, more than white in their countries as a slaves? Yeah, you're talking about the East African slave trade. Yes. No, 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 no. I'm talking about specifically Muslim country. And this is not Africa, actually. This is even the Caliphate Iraq. This is when the Caliphate was in Iraq. So this, the, the, okay. the, 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 you can search it right now. The revolution of Azinj. Actually, I can search it for you right now. Put it in the screen. Where Azinj? Let me look it up. Azinj. Revolution of is this, is this an American name or Zinj? Uh, Zinj is a word meaning the Negro. Excuse my language. Revolution of A L or E L. I will. I will find it for you. Hold on. Um, oh. I, What, uh, but what I was going to say, um, All right, here we actually, go. The, I will the, show it for you on the screen. Bought Gambian River. They never, they never even went to the Arabs. My friend, my friend, they, my, uh, friend, my, they, friend my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend, my friend. Don't, don't change topic. Don't change topic. So look what happened. This is the same topic. No, same. Okay, hold on, hold on. The Zinj Revolution. So you said that the Muslims they free the African, right? This is which year? I said. This is uh, this is in, in the uh, year. Morocco. Let's see the, the conquest of Morocco when no, it was. Okay, so no, listen, the listen, listen. The revolution of the Zinj, which year? Eight six nine eight eighty three. The population of the black people in Iraq became way more than the population of the white Arab in Iraq, which mean every Arab Muslim he have tons of uh, black slaves. I'm, I'm reading, I'm reading. I'm, just give me one second, let me read it. Mm. Uh, enslaved. Some enslaved Bantu. Oh, this is the Bantu tribe. Okay. Uh, okay, I can tell you. See, East Africans? That means it came from the East Africans. You know, who, you know who the Bantu tribe is? The Bentu tribe was an East African tribe. My friend, my, that friend, was, my friend, my friend, that was my friend. In, in with, my, with my respect, with with my, what African? This is in Iraq, my friend. How are those people they are in Iraq? You see the coast of East Africa, man. My friend, my friend, this and is Iraq. Bentu. How the African became in Iraq? Those are slaves. They are captured. Who have originally been captured from the East Af. This no, is East no problem. Africa. Who care? Who care where they are coming from? They are African slaves. Is that correct? Okay. 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 Why okay. the Muslims? You said to me the Muslim they freed them from the Byzantine, but the Muslim did not free anyone. The, no, they did not because they made you slave again. The Egyptian. No. The, okay, no, they, hold on. They, they so, okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, okay. So listen. 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 Some, okay. Okay. Listen. Listen. Some. Let us not waste our time. Did Muhammad own slaves? Yes, Muhammad owned slaves. Yes. Okay. Did he free them? Did he free them? Some of them. Name a slave, Muhammad. He freed. Do you know the guy? The guy's name is Bilal. I do know Bilal. Yes. Okay. Did Muhammad free him? Did Muhammad free him? I'm not. I'm not sure if he did. I know he said he hears his footsteps ahead of him in heaven. So that's that's. Okay. That's well, he, 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 um, ha, ha, ha. here we go. Bilal, after the death of Muhammad, he came to Abu, uh, to Abu Bakr because he is the one who bought him. And he said to him, he gave him as a gift. He said to him, Bilal said to Abu Bakr, if you have bought me for yourself, then keep me for yourself. But if you bought me for the sake of for Allah's sake, then leave me for Allah's sake. So the guy, he spent his life, he converted to Islam. They forced him to work as a slave. He is their servant. He is the first one to do Adhan because the white Arab, they will not do that. So they, they use the black slave to force him to do the Adhan. Very hard job to go early morning, screaming, Allah Akbar, Allah Akbar. Abu Bakr never so did it. Omar did not do it. Muhammad did not do it. Where, where, why are they not black now? If that's the case, then why are they, the people giving the Adhan 
is uh, the first is, time. Are, are, the first. Are Arabs. The, hold on. The Arabs? first. The in first. Hold on. The first. Because now they don't have a, a, a slaves anymore. They, you know, the people are, are free. The, the European. Yeah. The, the, yeah. the European. They are the one who forced them into freedom. Until now, in some areas. No, no, in the, no they didn't. My no, friend, they, didn't. No, they, they are. They are. The British. They are. Yeah, they are. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Until now, the, the kings of Saudi Arabia, they have slaves in their harem. You can go right now and check about the harem of the Saudi I, Arabia. They kidnap women from Bosnia. They kidnap beautiful women. But now the slaves are for the white. They like white women. They don't white. They don't want a black. So no, there's not now. It's, it's always been a different. Only it, it only became color specific with my the, friend. With don't the don't change the topic. Don't change topic. Forget about the Arab. I am an Arab now. Said, I am an Arab now. I'm asking you why Muhammad did not free his slaves. Why did Muhammad not free? He, he did free some slaves. What are you talking about? Well, if who is more important than Bilal? I mean, did Bilal, did, did Bilal ask for... Uh, a, when, when, when he told Bilal, you would beat me into heaven. What does that mean to you? <laughs> you beat me in my heaven, but you are cleaning my underwear. No, did he was Bilal? Show me Bilal cleaning my, my underwear. My friend, still what? he is a slave. Is okay, why Bilal Muhammad? Okay, hold on. Who is his servant? He is the servant. What servant do? No, 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 no. Bilal is not the servant. So what is he? Bilal was, Bilal was the giving the adhan. This is one of the things he ordered him to do the adhan. Do you want to show you that they order him? Okay, they ordered him. They, 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 they told him to go give the adhan because he My got friend, my friend. Place. Does it say? Does it? Does it say in the front of you? Are you stubborn just to want to talk? Are you just a stubborn you want to talk? Does it say that no, Bilal? You made a claim. Does it? Say, a claim I, I, I I made a claim. I'm proving it. Bilal, Bilal. So this is what servants do. Why well, you need servants? No, show me. We said Bilal. Okay. His who is the one who is washing the underwear for Muhammad? If it's not Bilal, Aisha. Aisha, huh? Aisha have slaves yeah. too, but Aisha she have slaves. But then why is she washing clothes then? If that's if what you're okay, saying. Okay, so what the slaves true, what the slaves I, what the slaves of Aisha they, they do? Said. What is the slaves of Aisha they do? If Aisha is washing the slave, what they do? Uh, maybe maybe you're saying if like it didn't happen. You're saying I I'm asking you, I'm asking you what the slaves they do in the house of Aisha. Uh, why she have even slaves? You just said you just agreed that Aisha she have slaves, right? Why she have slaves if they are I, against slavery? I'm not, I'm not sure about that, but I know the prophet did. So, in terms, well, if he had some, then she had some. So, my, fr my friend, even son. even the prophet, when somebody he free his slave, he forced them into slavery again. And the Quran confirmed that you have the right to attack people and force them into slavery. And even the hadith but, says, "Hold on, here we go." The hadith so, so says, "Is that wrong to you does, when, when, when taking war captives as slaves?" But th wrong? those that people, they are those part. people. They are not even fighting him. They are not no, even in war with him. They are not. They, they did not commit a crime against him just because he is seeking their money. Read carefully. This is your hadith al Bukhari saying that you are the best of mankind. Muhammad is te teaching the, the white Arab to be supremacist. You are the best of the people ever raised for mankind for the benefit of mankind. Chapter 3 verse 110 the best for mankind are those who bring them with the chains down round their necks until they embrace Islam So they capture you in order okay. to force you to this convert is, to Islam Okay, so let me ask you a question. Mm. This is in if you don't put this into context. This goes against the Quran How come so when something goes against the Quran, okay, show me you, show me where in the Quran it says if uh, uh, This is against the Quran. Go ahead no compulsion in religion that uh, you see this is a verse about that the, the the jews they said we will not we will we will not let our children convert to islam muhammad said you cannot do that which against no it doesn't say that. okay let me okay okay did muhammad say that the one let's, let's, let's okay hold on what is the point hold on hold on hold on as long as there's no compulsion in religion what is the punishment for leaving islam uh, was the same apostasy the, the same apostasy for leaving uh christianity that's false we don't have such a law in, in christianity you want, do you want the verse? You are, you, are, you are going to quote the Old Testament, right? What, what, it's a different God? 
No, it's the same God, but the Jews are ethnic did and religion. Hold on, hold on. Christianity, God, Christianity. Okay, mind? you see when you quote, even your God don't agree with you. According to the Quran, did this is Allah. Hold on. This is, 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 is. You are, you, 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 you just, just left Islam. You just, you just left. You just left Islam. You just left Islam. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm not saying it's wrong. I'm showing you that you are a hypocrite. A second ago, you said you quote for me a verse saying that there's no conclusion in religion. I'm showing you, you are a hypocrite. No, you, said, you just say it. You just say it. No, 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 no. I'm not saying it's wrong or not. You are the one saying to me, quoting for me ever. Shut up. You are the one who said to me that the, this, is, this is contradict the Quran. I said, What? You said the Quran says there's no conclusion in religion. I said, Okay, what is the punishment That's for right. leaving Islam? So, how there's no conclusion in Islam and yet you kill the one who leaves Islam? Go ahead. Okay, if I go around the same punishment that says in your Bible, this is not the question. This is not the question. This is not the question. That is not the question. You are being a coward now. You are running. You said, you said, you said, you quote for me a verse. I will let you finish. You said to me a verse. You said this is contradiction. So I'm asking you, what is the punishment? You said death. Okay. How the verse says you cannot force somebody to convert to Islam, but yet you kill the one who leaves Islam. Okay. Hmm. Can I finish now? Go ahead. I'll let you finish. Go ahead. Okay. If you go around enticing people to leave Islam, then you will be killed. If you leave Islam in your house and nobody knows, then you have no problem. <laughs> it says the same thing in your Bible. Mm. Do you want the verse? Yeah, go ahead. Show us the verse. Okay. Let me give you the verse real quick. What you want? You want to verse about my friend? You are just about, you are just wasting it, my time. This is not the question. You said there's no conclusion in the religion, so you are lying or lying to yourself. So why you are going to change the topic? No, you, not, you, you did not tell me. You did not tell me. You did not tell me. The Quran, the, the, your prophet says, whoever changes religion, he changed inside the house. He changed outside the house. If you find okay, about, how would you know? so, so, what do you mean? How would you know? What do you mean? How would you know I changed? How would you know I have became a non-Muslim if I didn't come and tell you? Okay. How would you know? Well, if you don't pray, you are not a Muslim no more. salatu kafir. The one who stopped praying, he's a kafir. They will kill him. Okay. Okay, let's go to Deuteronomy 13, 6 and 9. Hmm. And let's see and let's see if it says the same thing. What does that have to do, do you with want me my to read question? it for you? My friend, I, I, I know the Bible by heart. You are being a city now. I'm asking you. Okay. I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Is it free for you to be a Muslim? Is there complosion in religion or there's no complosion? I want an answer. There's no compulsion in religion. You okay, there's no compulsion. So, so you're a prophet, he said. He sent the three letters uh -huh. to three kings saying convert yeah. or die. Is that true? Show me. Show oh, me. Here we go. It's in the front of you in the screen. Aslam Teslam. Aslam Teslam doesn't mean a convert or die. No, it's me convert or die. Here we go. Aslam Teslam. No, no, Teslam no, mean you will be saved. No, no. Aslam Aslam Teslam. What does that mean? Teslam. I I am an Arab. This, this is my language. Teslam mean you will be safe. Teslam mean you will be safe. Teslam mean you, you will be safe. Do you agree? Okay, you be safe. Then safe from what? Say it right. It doesn't mean kill. It okay, you safe. safe from okay. what? Safe from what? From Allah. Come on. From Would Allah or from the world? Bring, okay. Bring, Did Muhammad? Bring, okay, bring then. The letter. Okay, hold on. Did Muhammad after that? He, Muhammad, he took his army and he attacked the Roman after that letter. The Romans attacked us, uh, attacked the, the Muslims three, four times. Before. That's false. It's your prophet. Your prophet. Yeah, he you, said to the Muslim, "Let me show you. You are. You, I don't want to call you a name, my friend. I'm trying to be nice to you. Did your prophet says attack the Romans so you can get the blonde girls? So you could what? You can get the blonde girls. No, I don't believe he said that. Okay, let us see. Here we go. Okay, but you do agree that apostasy laws in your Bible. Yeah, right? yeah the in, the, in, the, in the Old Testament, yes. but but uh, I'll explain to you so, why. So was it was it was it wrong always, or is it wrong back then? This is not about or wrong, wrong or this is not about wrong. This is no, about no, contradiction. You're saying, you're, you see, you're I am saying, not mentioning that you are being a fool. I am not mentioning that to say this is to you wrong. We are talking no. about do you have yes. do your prophet force them to convert to Islam or not? The one who is living, they are I born see. in that religion. They are Jews. You cannot convert to be a Jew. Muhammad, he forced his religion. He forced them to be a you Jew. Can, he no, forced them to be Muslims. You, 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 you can be a Gentile Jew. You sure you know your Bible? My friend. You can be a Gentile Jew. 
Okay, don't, okay. I, I know my Bible. No, you cannot convert to be a Jew. The Gentile is the Agonai. They are it's not. They, they, they are not. They are not Jews. The Jews are the one who is born from a Jewish woman. No, no. That's All right. Wrong. Okay, here we go. This is in front of you. I have. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here we go. Here we go. This is your. This is your prophet. This is your. This is your. This is your prophet. Either okay, you are trying to change the topic. You are trying. You are ashamed of your no, prophet. No, no. Okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. this is the, this is this is the screen so this I can see. The, I don't, I don't, okay. I don't know. This is the tefsir in the front of you. Okay. Which, which what one? What does it say in the back of the tefsir? Tell the people real quick. What it does says, it say? "Attack the Roman and get the blondie girls." Okay, no, no. I'm asking you a question. Mm. Well, in the back of the book of the tefsir, what does it say? What it says? It says your Muslims are a bunch of liars. No, it says. This is the opinion of the author, and Allah knows best. So that book is infallible. First of all, first of all, it's a stupid it's of you to say so because he is saying the prophet said. This is not opinion. When I say to you, hold on, you see, I'm losing my patient. It says, here we go, I'm Mujahid. This is the hadith, hadith number 16786. It says, I'm Mujahid. The Prophet said, How you say this is opinion? Are you an idiot? This is not on the screen. Can I see it on the screen? It's on the screen. I don't see anything but 31110. Okay, it's going to show for it right now. Here we go. Do you see it? No, it still says uh, you are the best of people ever raised f up for. Refresh, the refresh your page. Ref refresh your page. Ref refresh your page. Re refresh it. Refresh it. Refresh. Uh, refresh the the YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Maybe you are stuck there. Okay, one second. Let's refresh it. Okay, refresh. I just hit refresh. One second. One second. It's coming back up. Okay. Mm -hmm. What are we? Uh, it says here, I, I, I see a bunch of Arabic. Uh, well, are, are, so you are a Muslim, but you don't know Arabic now? No, I don't. I don't know Arabic as much as. Okay, I will use. I, I, I will use Google. Arabic. Okay, no so problem. No problem. No, read, no, read problem. no problem. No problem. No problem. I will. Okay, okay. He, he prayed to Allah in Arabic, but you do not know. Okay, I will use Google okay. translation. What we Jesus, can do? Jesus hold on, 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 hold on. Okay, read, read, read. Hold on. We as a Christian, we do not. You as a Muslim, you have to pray to Allah in Arabic. So it's a must for you to learn Arabic. For us, we don't. Okay. No, Hold on! No, no, no. Don't change do you, do Don't change you know? topic! Sure? Don't change topic! Don't change topic! Shame on you! Sure? The hadith in front of you. The hadith in the front of the hadith. The hadith in the front of you. Attack! Attack the Roman! You are a big mouth. You say nothing. You are wasting my time. It says attack okay, the Roman. Attack the Roman, so you can take the women of where? the yellow. Okay, where? Show me one second. Which it's in the front of you. Which Give give me permission and do not miss me. Is this one that, that you're talking about? Yeah. Or the one after to say in interpretation? Which one is you? Which which section am I, I, I need to read? The, read any. Well, it says for you, attack the Roman and get the the, 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 the daughter of the attack yellow. The, okay. Attack okay, the let Roman. Try, let okay. Let me see where it says attack the Roman. Hold on one second. Okay. You, uh, where is attack the Roman? Can you highlight it? There we go. Conquer. Here we okay. go. The Prophet okay. of Allah said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Read, 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 read it from here. Read it from here. Read it from here. Here we go. From where? Hmm. From the beginning? Conquer the book. I will read for you. Conquer the book. Take the advantage of the daughter of the yellow. The Roman women. This is the purpose of Muhammad attacking the book. They did not attack him. They never attack him. They never actually enter Saudi Arabia in the history of the Roman. Never. So he's saying attack a book because this is the closest point of the of the Roman. Attack the book so you can get the blondie women. Here they translate the word, the, 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 uh, it's yellow in Arabic, but it's mean the blondie girls. So a guy, he said to him, leave me alone. Don't tempt me by women, you, 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 fa you false prophet. So he says, Jesus told us on the authority of Ibn What Jesus Abi. told me? What Jesus told me? Jesus told me? It says right here. It says Jesus told us right there. 
Uh, this is a uh, Jesus this, told, his name is Isa, my friend. This is a Google translation translated translated the word Isa as Jesus. There's no Jesus okay, in the story. So, yeah, the, so the, the one is talking. Is the one, Jesus. the one is talking. Read the messenger of Allah. Allah pray on him and salute him. Said, conquer Tabuk to take advantage of the daughter of the yellow and the Roman women. The the, the guy, his name is Jad. He said, which means a grandfather. He said. Leave us alone and don't fascinate us by women. Conquer to Buddha, the grandfather said, Leave us alone. Okay, now all we need to do to prove this right is show me the hadith. That's all. It's in the front of you. So it, just go, just go. go. Just go, just go, that's stupid idiot. Just go, man. Just go, show me the hadith. This is the book of Tafsir showing you the number of the hadith, you donkey. And you want me to prove it to you is true? So it's your Muslim, you collect it, you write it, you put it there, it's not true? Your Muslims explain the Quran by a false story? The filthy idiot he accept that Muhammad considered black, the devil is a black. The black dog is the devil just because he's black. Shaitan is a black just because the black is a bad color for him. And he's an African, you believe it? And now he's saying to us that the Roman attack Muhammad, they never attack. Muhammad sent the letter saying convert or else. And the Quran in chapter 9, 29 says, fight those who believe not in Allah. From who? From the Christian and Jews, you idiot donkey. Enter what? Enter they pay the jizya with humiliation. So what the condition to let them live? If they pay for Muhammad is a gang mafia leader. If you pay to Muhammad, it's okay. You can worship the wrong God. You can worship Jesus. It's okay. Just pay him. Pay him. As long as you pay him, you're fine. Muhammad don't care. Fight and kill. Chapter 929. Who? The Christians and the Jews. Why? Because they don't believe in Allah. Not because they are fighting him. Because they don't believe in Allah. Read the verses. Even donkeys who have little brain, they can see it. And this is your Muslim translation. All who you believe, Qatilu. Qatilu. Qatilu who? Qatil means kill, fight to kill by sword. Against those who believe not in Allah. We don't believe in Allah. This is the reason to kill us. But he said, it's us, we are attacking him. Actually, Muhammad was protected by the Christians in Ethiopia. And the coward later, he want to kill them. Nor the last day, we don't believe in the last day of Muhammad. Nor forbid what is forbidden by Allah. We don't, we don't approve that. And his messenger and those who acknowledge not the religion of truth. So what the reason to kill us? We don't acknowledge Islam. That's it. From what? From the Christians and the Jews. Until they pay the jizya with willing and submission. So what the purpose? To steal their money and take their women, the blondie girls. And you idiot fool, you want to waste my time? He doesn't say that. Let us see if it's true. Anything we say, it's weak. It's weak. This hadith is weak. The Google says it's weak. What a potato you are. Shame on you. Shame on a black person to accept such a cult. And not only that, the Quran says clearly. Pick a tafsir which agree with you. Guys, look at this. A Muslim saying, I pick up a tafsir which agree with me. He just admitted that tafsir agree with me. Tafsir of who? Of Muslim scholars. You see the stupidity? I picked up a tafsir which agree with me. Have you ever heard of a donkey bigger than this one? Imam al Jalalain agree with me. Al Jalalain is a liar then. Only al Jalalain, by the way, I was not reading al Jalalain, your donkey. I was reading al Tabari. But yet we can show it to you in many places. Stupid idiot. And if I show you now from Ibn Kathir, do you agree? Let us show everybody how this Muslim will change his mind in two seconds. He will not agree with Ibn Kathir no more. 
He will spit at Ibn Kathir in a second. Hey brother, why you don't read Ibn Kathir for us? Huh? Why you don't? Well, this is Ibn Kathir. He says the same. Potato idiot. It's about women. This is Ibn Kathir in English. If we go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic, we will see that the meaning is so different. You can click at Ibn Kathir in English and you, uh, sorry, uh, uh, translate it from Arabic to English and you will see immediately that all of this is gone. But look, I fear that I see the women of the yellow ones. I would not be patient. Let us go to Ibn Kathir in Arabic and everybody will laugh in a second. This is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. I want the one who says to me, read Ibn Kathir, to call me right now. Do you dare to call me the one who says he want to read Ibn Kathir? This is Ibn Kathir. Are you there? And not only that. Ibn Kathir confirmed that the Prophet he ordered to kill the Christians and steal their money. Remember, you are the one who agree with Ibn Kathir. You cannot take it back. It's too late. This is Ibn Kathir saying it clearly that because the Prophet he ordered them not to let anyone is not a Muslim to get close to the Kaaba. So he forced them to get out and there's no, no business. So he said to them, if you fear property, don't worry, Allah will enrich you. How Allah will enrich you? Read it carefully. And if you fear poverty, Allah will reach you out of his bounty. Bounty? What bounty? He said, attack the Christians and the Jews and kill them unless they pay the jizya. Read it. So Allah comes, uh, 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 will reward the Muslims the money they lost by, by stealing our money. Do you see it? This is Ibn Kathir. And then Ibn Kathir continues saying, Fight against those who believe not in Allah in all the last days or forbid what is forbidden by Allah Messenger. From who? From the people of the scriptures. Until they pay the jizya. So he explained to you why we need to fight them. We fight them because Allah decided to give us their money. We want to steal their money. Read carefully. If you fear poverty, Allah will reach you from other resource so attacking the christian not because they attack him but this is the resource do you see it now you are the one who said you agree with ibn kathir so ibn kathir he attacked the roman to get the girls to get the money this is ibn kathir And how you fight them, not only you fight them, after you fight them and kill them and rape their women, you have to keep their humiliation. Look what it says. Until they pay the jizya, because this is the purpose of this war, to steal the money. Because they choose not to embrace Islam. So Muhammad sent a letter, says, Aslam, Taslam, the coward, the potato, he said to me, no, it doesn't mean that. This is the letter. Aslam, Taslam, embrace Islam, I will not kill you. Let us get them busted in a clear proofs. This is a Sahih Hadith, Muhammad saying, I've been ordered to kill all mankind, fight to kill, unless they say Shahada, unless they convert to Islam. Unless 
they do as I order to do. This is for all mankind, not even the, 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 the Christians alone. Do you see it? All of this is Sahih Hadith. All of this. I've been ordered to fight all the people, all mankind. Until they say Shahada. Until they pray as we pray. Until they pay Zakat. Until they slaughter as we slaughter. Until they eat as we eat. Muhammad, he will enslave you as a Muslim. You have to eat as he eat. You have to fart as he fart. You have to, your diet will change. Everything will change. And this is the only way to have his property safe from me and his blood. Do you see it? Do you see this coward he said to me? It doesn't say that. Did he say to me that he did not order to kill them? Did he say that Aslam Taslam does not mean they will be killed if they don't convert? Did he say that there's no compulsion in Islam? But this is what Muhammad is saying, and this is what he did. And this is all what the caliphate after him did. They attack Syria, they attack Iraq, they attack Egypt, they attack Morocco, they attack all those countries. For what? For Muhammad, he ordered to do it. But Muhammad was not successful to do it in his time. He tried to attack the Roman, he failed. He took with him tens of thousands of soldiers and he failed. And the only way to stop Muhammad from shedding your blood is this. Read it. Do you see how many times this hadith repeated? This is not only sahih, this is extremely sahih. The command to fight the people. Until they say that Allah, la ilaha illallah, Muhammad, you have to say the shahada, pagan. You have to associate the name of Allah with the name of a man, his name is Muhammad. And establish salat, and pay the zakat, and believe in everything the prophets say. Whoever does, his life and his wealth is protected. Do you see it? And the coward, he said to me, Aslam, Taslam does not mean that. Do you see why I hang up on you? You are a potato, coward, liar. So you are a Muslim for 13 years specifically for one reason because you are a certified donkey. You do not know. Either you were lying to me about what Islam teach or you are lying to yourself or you are a fool. Choose one. If you really believe that Islam, Islam does not mean convert or die, well, I'm showing, I'm showing you the reference. If you know it is saying that and you still you defend it, that's when you are stupid. And then he says to me, well, in the Old Testament it says if you leave, the law of apostasy is there. In the Old Testament, there is a reason. The Jews are not only a group of faith, they are ethnic. And just to show you how stupid you are, you just proved to me, you just said that the Gentile, there is Jews who they are Gentile. Look what the Quran said. You just confirm that your prophet is a liar. The Jews in the Quran are called only, only Bani Israel, children of Israel. So how they are Gentile if they, all of them they are the children of Israel? Do you see it? If there is Jews who they are not children of Israel, how you call them all children of Israel? Does it say that? It doesn't say that, CB. Children of Israel. And by the way, if you search the whole Quran, you will not find who is Israel. A clear sign that the one who wrote the Quran is an idiot. He do not know who is Israel. Who is Israel? A question for all the Muslims are listening. Who is Israel? The guy here in the Quran says, Children of Israel, can you show me one verse in the Quran that says who is Israel? Hmm? Any Muslim can show me. No, we mentioned the jizya. We said the jizya, you have to pay the jizya until Muhammad is a gang. This is why when the Italian move Mavia started after the Muslim, they left Italy. When the Muslims occupy Europe, 
they start forcing the jizya they go to stores and they go to the civilian they knock at their door say pay us so you can live when the muslims lost the war and they withdraw the mafia the criminals who learn from the muslims this business they took over so they go to stores and they say pay so you can live the founder of the italian mafia is muhammad pay so you can live now who's a muslim want to tell me who is israel where we can find reference in the quran for israel And one of the funny things about Islam proving to us that Islam is a false religion because Muslims they have to go by the Hadith and by the Sunnah by, by, by uh, the, the practice of Muhammad and by the Quran so if we say okay do you accept the Hadith to be authentic or you reject it they say yes if we show them something funny and stupid they will say we don't accept it look at this this is authentic this is very authentic not only authentic The message of Allah says the man water is thick and white and the women water join a uh, thin and yellow which whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parents only donkeys they will believe in such a thing so this is authentic they accept it they will say no because this is stupid this is not true all right uh the, this guy he's saying here uh, what a stupid question the Quran does not need to explain who is Israel it was known truth okay known truth by who guys it was known truth by who it was known this is known truth by the Jews how come in the Bible it's explained who is Israel? And the funny you see the that making fun of of of, uh, of uh, the, the the Bible in the Old Testament, saying that Jacob was struggling with the angel of God. Oh, he's fighting his Lord. But the second you adopt the name Israel, you idiot, you adopt the story. For Israel is about that story. If we ask Muhammad and what Israel mean, we don't know. For this is a cult stealing names. What Jibreel mean, they don't know. What Allah mean, they don't know. Jacob is Israel. Okay, guys, Jacob is Israel. Where do you get this from? Here we go. I have the Quran in front of me. I want you to show me where Jacob is Israel. Are you the same one I he called me before? Yeah, he's the same one. Jacob is Israel, guys. Go ahead, answer. Muhammad, answer. You have a bad voice. Hello? Hello? Okay, sorry, I cannot continue with you. Your voice is very bad. Okay, let's see. Hello? Hello? Wa alaikum as -salam. So where is where you say that Jacob is Israel? Where you get this information from? I don't understand anything, my friend. Sorry. I don't understand the word. I don't understand the word from what you're saying. Hello? Yeah, hello, uh, CP. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I believe you forgot about the part about the jizya. 
Um, no, I did I not. Just for- I did not forget. No, we mentioned that they have to pay. A jizya is to pay and live. If you don't pay, you will die. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just because uh, when you were talking to that guy, you, you like forgot to mention it. I just uh, no, no, like, but uh, uh, you know, we are going step by step. But he made me lose my patience because he's a coward potato. He says this is I not understand. the Quran. The Quran is so clear, and here we go. It says that Wahum Sagirun and feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated. Therefore, Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhamma or elevate them above the Muslims, for they are miserable, disgraced. And the filthy liar, he says to me, Islam doesn't say convert or die. What a potato. It does. Yeah, anyway, we'll take Muslims. Please don't tell me unless you are a Muslim. Who is a Muslim when I call me? I think we have a Muslim here. I have a Muslim friend watching and he must... Listen the truth. Is he next to you when I call me or what? Okay, let us see this person. Yes, you are live on air, my friend. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Uh, I just had a question about the doctor of the Trinity. Okay. So you don't, you you have a problem with the Trinity? Do you understand your God first? Uh, no, it's it's a little bit mind boggling. Like, I mean, like. You, are you on, for are, example, let's are you? take an let's take something in creation, okay? Hmm. Like, let's say there is a bottle. Hmm. I have a bottle. Uh, if I ask hmm. if God created it, I hmm. would say like the, the the Christian answer is that yes, God created it. No, but according That's, to no, Christian, no, no, the no, triangle no, of the no, Trinity. No, we, no, we will not say that. We will not say God created the ball. It's you who made it. God, He created the material. Yeah, God, God created the material, but Jesus created. Did, did Jesus create the bottle? He created the material. Or was it the Holy Spirit? He created the material the same because God is one. No, 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 no. Did Jesus create the bottle? He did not create the bottle. He created the material. It is you who made it as a bottle. Okay, okay, okay. And did, did the Holy Spirit create the, the, the material? You are just repeating just an, uh, the same God. This is one God. Every, everyone, you see, when we say God is one, God have... Uh, 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 the three person each each of those person he do a duty so the Bible says that uh -huh. everyone everything Jesus is the visible image of the invisible God which means he is the visibility of God so the first thing Jesus he did for us he present God as a visible image for nobody can see God and live for his glory is amazing so God, he humbled himself, I'm quoting the Bible, God, he humbled himself, and he appeared to us in a flesh, a flesh of a man. So the visible image of God is not different God, it's not the second God, third God, fourth God, it is God himself. This is why Jesus said, when they said to him, why you don't show us the Father and that said, he said, all this time I am with you and you do not know me. Whoever saw me, he saw the Father. So you are talking okay. about the same God. Oh yeah, okay, okay. Then in that scenario, if we have like, according to the Trinity, uh, I'm going to make a statement, I'm going to define Trinity. Trinity is one God, three distinct persons. Hmm. God, God is one, and God is one. Hmm. Uh, Jesus is not the Spirit, Jesus is God, Jesus is not the Spirit, the Holy Spirit is God, the Holy Spirit is not the Spirit. Hmm. The Father is God, the Father is not the Spirit, nor mm. the Son. Mm. And they all three are God, but not three gods, but one God. This is the doctrine of the Trinity, all are co-equal and co-eternal. So, okay, uh, let, My question okay, is... I, but just if, have, if, 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 uh, allow me, if you allow me, before you make the question, how come you understand the Trinity of the Christians, but your God don't understand? Because your God, he thinks that Mary is in the Trinity. No, 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 no. See, for, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I understand your question. See, hmm. Mary in the Quran, it says the word Ilahain in Surah 5, I 116. Open it if you can. Hmm. It says Ilahain. Ilahain doesn't mean that Allah is saying that Christians worship Jesus and Mary hmm. as 
to gods beside Allah. It says to il, it means to ilas besides Allah. It can mean their worship. It doesn't mean that Christians believe Mary to be God. It means that Christians worship Mary because the word is ilahain, which doesn't mean God. It means anything that is worshipped. Anything, pen, pencil, paper. No. Anything that is okay. worshipped can be an ilah. Uh, first, are you are you are you an are you an Arab? Are you are you schooling me about what the word ilahain? Here we go. It says ilahain mean to God. So are you worshipping me and uh, my no, mother? No, 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 no. If you open an Arabic dictionary, ila ila hmm. means God. anything that is worshipped. Okay, so if, if, yes, when you worship, Quran okay, say, I, I, like, you see, I don't know how smart you are. If you worship something, is that make him God for you or not? No, not necessarily. Uh, like Christians <laughs> worship Mary. Do they the Catholic? Uh, no, no, that's a lie. That's a lie. Don't lie. That, don't God. don't it's lie. Don't lie. Don't, lie. don't lie. Don't lie. Don't lie. Can you show me one place where the Catholic they say that Mary she is God? Why well, you are a liar like your prophet? No, 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 no. I'm not saying I'm not saying Catholics and Mary is God. Hmm. Catholics worship Mary. They don't. Means no, they Catholic don't. You are a liar. That Can you show me? Mary. Can you show me? Can you show me one Catholic book says that we worship Mary? Yeah, sure. Did they call her the mother of God? But she's not, she, calling any okay, let me answer you. Shut up. When you say something, let me answer you. I'm losing my patience. Listen, if Jesus is God and Mary is his mother, so it's not wrong to say that word. For he is, she is the mother of their God. You are being stupid. But they don't worship her. She is a woman. She is a woman chosen by God. That's what the Catholic teach. So stop lying and fabricating stories. Now let's go back to the topic. Why the Quran consider the trinity include mary which is absolutely false for you just said that it the christian they worship the jesus it doesn't consider mary in the trinity it says christians and christians worship jesus and mary's besides allah it doesn't the word the accurate translation okay how many okay count christians take mary, all right mary and jesus okay i will go with your stupidity i will go with your stupidity i will go with your stupidity according to this verse how many names the christians are worshiping how many names are named in this verse the Christian they worship? Uh, what, 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 in which verse? The same verse we are reading. What's wrong with you? Surah 5, Ayah 6, 116. Are you talking about that? Yeah. How many how many names the Christians are worshipping in that verse? In that verse, they're worshipping Jesus and Maryam. And who? And that's it. And, uh, and Allah? Yeah, that's it, yeah. And Allah, right? They don't worship Allah? It says besides Allah. It doesn't say along with Allah. It says besides. Besides, that's mean Allah, Allah is in the side. Beside Allah. Okay. Yeah, 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 fine. Okay. 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 So now we have three gods. Worship, we have three worshipped right. persons. And they are the God of the Christians. Okay, why your God do not understand the Trinity as you, as you understood it? Why Allah is a fool? Where is the Christian Trinity? Where is the Christians who worship the Holy Spirit? Uh, see, firstly. Mm, firstly. Uh, yeah. Firstly, the, the so, Surah 5, I 116 doesn't talk about, it doesn't say Christians, Christians are, it doesn't say the word, it doesn't define it, uh, three, it's a prophecy about the future. In Arabic it says, ya Isa. He said, he said in the past, the Muslim they say, this is in the day of resurrection, the Muslim they say, Allah will say, Allah will say that to hold on. Allah will say that. Allah will say that to the Jesus in the day of resurrection. But in Arabic it says, "Idqala." It's in the past. He said when Allah said when Allah said not say, not yaqul. Qala in the past. This is not important. So Allah will question the Christians in the day of resurrection according to you. That even make it more horrible. Not a single Christian exists today. To be questioned in the day of resurrection about worshiping Mary, nobody worship her. Yeah. Hmm. So this is a mistake, isn't it? So see, in Surah Five, Ayah One Hundred and Sixteen, the word for God is 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 Ilahain. Ilahain, according to my, I've seen with my own two eyes. Ilahain you know, doesn't mean God my in friend, any Arabic dictionary. To my friend, your it voice, your, that, your voice is the same as Sabil, the one I made a video about him. Is that you? 
It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It, it is you, isn't it? Me. Isn't it? Isn't it? It's you, right? Sabir, the one I got him busted yesterday. I am not Sabir. Listen to me. No, you are Sabir. This is your voice. Ila mean God. This is your Ila voice. Means is that, that you? Is that is that is that you, Sabir Ahmed? Is that you? No, Wallahi, I am not Sabir. Okay, Sabir I will take Ahmed, your word. No. no problem. He says Wallahi, but you are allowed to swear by Allah, false oath, don't aren't you? I'm not allowed to. I'm not allowed to make false thoughts by Allah. Okay. However, no. Hold on. 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 I mean, let, let's see. Let's say that we have a matter. We have matter. We have anything in creation. Okay. Hmm. But 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 why you are lying to me and says you are not allowed to to take false oath? Isn't it Allah? He says in chapter two, verse number two, two to five. It says Allah will not take you. Allah will not. I will not. Allah will not. Allah. Allah will not call you account for a true truthlessness in your oath. Chapter two, verse two to five. So you are allowed to lie. Take using the name of Allah, lying. Yes or no? I don't know. Uh, listen to me. I, I cannot see the eye also. Listen, listen. Uh, like, no, I mean, don't uh, tell me I do not know. I just, gave it, I just gave you the verse. Chapter 2, chapter two, verse and number 225. So you're allowed, Mr. Hello? Sabil, you're allowed to swear by Allah it is not you. No, no problem. We go back to the topic. So how come Allah failed to mention that the Christian worship God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit as one God? Instead, he is mentioning oh, okay. a trinity which we don't have. Just because Allah does not mention the Trinity in the, the 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 doctrine of the Trinity in the Quran doesn't mean that the Quran is not from Allah. No, he mentioned. Allah doesn't, Allah no, he, does he, mention, he mentioned it. No, 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 no. He he did mention it. He did mention it. It's in the front of you. He mentioned Mary instead of the Holy Spirit. That is a clear evidence that Muhammad is an ignorant man. Because the Christians, who they are truly the Christians, is those who believe. Those who be, what does Ilahain mean? Two, it says two, two gods. gods beside Allah. It doesn't mean two gods beside Allah. No, it, it means, means that. Two, or the correct translation, listen. Here to we go. Oh, okay, okay, hold on, hold on, okay. So, if, uh, okay, when you say Shahada, what does Shahada say? Say the Shahada for me, just to get you busted. La ilaha illallah. Okay, what ilaha mean? Worthy of worship except Allah. There's nothing worthy of worship except Allah. No, la ilaha, no, no, that's false, that's false. There's there's nothing worthy to worship except Allah, that's false. It says, na, la ilaha, there's no God but Allah. No, 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 no. Okay. God means, like, God is not, like, Allah doesn't mean, can mean God. It doesn't always mean God. It has two meanings. One is anything that is worshipped, like, a tahut like uh, like an idol an idol can be an ilah okay the, the, the Quraysh okay read read the, okay read the hadith okay i have a, 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 i have hadith in the front of you and you are a liar and you you don't know arabic yet you are teaching the arab arabic read the hadith this is the shahada i am listen to me ilahain does not mean shut up and read i read the shahada read the shahada read the shahada in front of you read it la ilaha illa allah there is nothing worthy of the that's false that's, that's false that's no false that's false there's no way it says okay can you show okay hold on hold on potato potato coward can you show me the word worthy in la ilaha illa allah the word worthy you said no god is worthy of worship except allah can you show me the word worthy in the statement i want to see it i'm going to put it for uh, you in the screen shut up give me a second give me a second everybody everybody it means there is no ilah except allah there is no ilah there okay is no where is the word no, this is not a question shut up where is the word worthy in the sentence i want to see it here we go i have it in arabic for you which one is worthy? My bad. Huh? Where is the word worthy? It's not there. It's worthy is not there. Worthy is so not why you are adding it then? Why you are lying saying it says there's no God worthy of worship save Allah? So you are a liar. So it says that ilaha illallah. There is no God through God. There is no God except Allah. Christian prince in creation, like let's say in the Christian doctrine of Trinity, let's say there is. Don't change the topic. Okay. Don't change the topic. Don't change the topic. Don't change. Don't change the topic. Why you are lying? Does it say in front of you? Okay. And, this is, and this is the most important translation. There is no God but but Allah. No, and they add the word true, which is not. It's false too. No God but Allah. That's it. 
So what is yes, the word? Yes, what, okay. In, in Sahada, it, okay. So what is the word? Of, what is the word God? Okay. Those Muslims, when they translate, where they get the word God from? Which one is God? It says there's no God but except Allah. Which one of them is the word God? Is that the word Ilah? Can I answer? Can I answer yeah. Is that Ilah, the word God? They are translating the word there's here. They are saying there's no God but Allah. Which one the word God in the Arabic sentence? It's 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 Ilah. It's Ilah. Yes. Ila. Oh, you're so, right. So I am right. right. Okay, so uh, so so you, you, next time don't uh, argue. <laughs> Being yeah, stubborn yeah. and liar. Ilah hmm. has two meaning. In Kitab al Ain, Kitab al Ain is an Arabic dictionary. No. Kitab al Jim is also. No. Ilah means God. 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 It doesn't mean anything else. Anything you worship is your God. That's your God. Ilahi. Ilahi. So you are, you get yourself busted after all this garbage. Now we go back, okay. So we go back, we go back. Allah He said, He asked Jesus, Do you and and, and you are the one who said this will be in the judgment day, correct? Yeah. Okay, so in the judgment day, how many Christians in the judgment day they believe in the Trinity as your God saying that Isa is God, Mary is God, and Allah is God? Can you name for me the Christians? See, uh listen to me. Listen to me. You allow me to answer or not? Sabir, Sabir, answer, Sabir. You can answer. It says in the front of us that this is the question will be asked in the judgment day. But there is no Christian believe in such a garbage. CP, can you let me answer or not? Can Sabir, you me Sabir, 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 I'm waiting, Mr. Sabir, I'm, uh, Dr. Sabir, I'm, I'm waiting for you to answer me, Sabir. Sabir, answer me. Don't you have any patience? Don't you have any patience? I am like your prophet. When the Muslim come to him, he 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 he, he beat them up. Did, 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 your, did, your, did your prophet beat? Did your prophet? Did your prophet beat people up for asking him questions? Thirty seconds of silence. Can't you let you ask me a question? You're Sabir, in I want no problem. Go ahead. I so I will repeat. So I will repeat my question so you will not jump it. You will not jump it. Who are they, the Christians? Allah will ask them in the judgment day because this is the only question He will ask to Jesus. He will not mention the Holy Spirit. No. This is the only question He will say. Why did you say? Did you say to your people, we have we have more than three billion Christians believe in the Trinity as God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit? But your God is asking the wrong question. Go ahead. In Kitab Ain. In Kitab al-Ain, Arabic dictionary, Ila can mean anything that is worshipped in Kitab al-Ain and Kitab al-Jim. These are the most classical Arabic dictionaries ever. Are you stupid or what? Anything you worship, Ila it's mean God. Yes, you idiot, you idiot. I asked you, when you worship, when you worship something, it's your God. You said, yes, why are you a donkey? You just said anything you worship, so it's God. The Ila means two things. One, it can mean God with the with the small g. Second, mm. it can mean anything that is worship. Doesn't matter. It's God. If you worship it, it's God. Your God. What's wrong with you? As long as you are worshiping, no. it's it's your God. Uh, say, <laughs> uh, certain, uh, certain Catholics worship Mary, right? They, they don't. Mary. And you are a liar. And I will challenge you. I will challenge you to show me one Catholic say what you are saying. You are a liar. Do, okay, fine, fine. Okay, do do. Is there any Christian sect that worships Mary? Forget about Mary, considering Mary as God. Okay, is there I, any Christian I, I, I will go. Mary? Oh, okay, I will go with you now. So your God, Allah, He will question a sect, not the Christians. You're not letting me speak, so I'm goodbye. You, you just you this cover. Don't hang up. You are the one who asked me a question. You said if there's any Christian sect worship Mary, you said that to me. So I answered you. Why you are running? I said so. Your God is asking only about that sect, but it's not exist. <laughs> Where's the Trinity? CP. Where is the Trinity? CP. Where is the Trinity? Listen. Where is the Trinity? Trinity is Holy Spirit, Jesus, and the Father. Or we, where, we, where we can find it in the Quran? What? Where we can find it in the Quran? Why you can't find it in the Quran? Yeah. 
Well, what do you mean? You you can't find about the Eiffel Tower in the Quran. Doesn't mean it's it's not from God, you know. Oh, the Eiffel Tower is in the Quran. It's not the Quran. Let me show you. Here we go. Your God, Allah, He sent two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut in the Eiffel Tower to open Harry Potter School. Is that true, or I'm making things up? True, true. I'm sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't hear. What did, what did you say? Your God, Allah, he mentioned the Eiffel Tower, which is exist at that time in Iraq, in the Babylon Tower. And he said, he sent down two angels. Their name is Harut and Marut to open Hur Reporter School to teach magic. Yes or no? Allah doesn't talk about an Eiffel Tower in 21st century in Paris, okay? Okay, so but uh, so what? what so so let, okay, but here, here he call, he call it. He don't change the topic. You are the one who mentioned the tower. What kind of God he 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 consider that the Babylon Tower is his tower? Allah he sent down in the Babylon Tower a two angels, Harut and Marut. You have not answered my question. Sabil, I am answering you. You are the one who said that Allah did not mention Air Eiffel Tower in Paris. Are you stupid or what? So why he want to mention it? Is it have to do with religion? So I mentioned to you a tower which mentioned to about religion. Allah, he opened a school of teaching black magic and you are now under black magic according to Allah because obviously you are a fool. So now I want you to answer me. Do you really believe that there's a God? He will send two angels to open Holy Buddha school and you you will sign discrimination before you join it. Brother and sister, before you sign this school, you have to know that we are teaching you magic so you can cause the man and the wife to fight and get divorced. This is the school Allah is opening. CP. Yes, Sabil, yes. I'll ask you one last time. Did, will you allow me to speak? When I'm answering, you're not letting me answer. Whenever I'm so you will, so you, so, you speak so, you, so you will avoid the disaster in front of us in our eyes, right? You will avoid the, the, the madness. You are ashamed of it, so you are ashamed, trying not to talk about it. Listen to me. I... The moment I talk to you, mm. I asked you the first question about Trinity Sabir, and you have not answered it. I answered you. I and asked it's, you re it's recorded. It's recorded. Everybody left laughing at you, Sabir. Yeah. Go, mm. Everybody go back 20 minutes, 30 seconds back. I, you, I asked him a question about Trinity. Listen to me. CP, I'll ask it again. I'll ask it again. Okay. Answer it. Don't, okay. Don't, okay. Don't okay. Hold on. Hold on. Do you, do you promise me you will answer this verse? Do you promise me after I answer you? I promise. I promise I'll answer you. Okay. Go ahead. Ask me. My question is: mm. According to the Trinity, mm. uh, Holy Spirit is not Jesus, and Jesus is not Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is not Father. Father is not Holy Spirit. Father is not Jesus. Jesus is not Father. Mm. And they are all God. There are three distinct persons. Three mm. distinct persons of one God. And mm. there is only one God, Achad, like a group. It can mean, according to the Christians, a, a group of unity. However, my question is. It wouldn't it be a fallacy if, uh, let's say, there is a piece of matter like, let's say, my my home. You did what? did let's say Earth? Did God create Earth? The answer is yes. Hmm. Did Jesus create Earth? Yes. Did Holy Spirit Spirit create Earth? Yes. Hmm. But this is not Holy Spirit. So how did both of them create Earth when they both are distinct persons? That's my question. Very simple. For God, action. Consider the, the when 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 God he do an action. This is the action, and as long as it's one God, it's the action of God. And I will make it simple for you. Yeah. In the Quran, in the Quran it says that Jesus is the Word of God. Jesus is the Spirit of God, and Jesus is a messenger of God. So the messenger of God, he go let us say Jerusalem. That's mean the word of God is going to Jerusalem too. And the spirit of God is going to Jerusalem too. For this is one. So you are contradicting your own belief. When the Quran says that the Messiah is Kalimatahu al ila Maryam, it is his word which Allah he bestowed upon Mary. You're and commenting the Tukukwi fallacy. Listen, listen, uh, listen. I'm explaining to you according to your I'm explaining to you. Hold on, hold on. Don't I'm showing you the stupidity in the Quran and the stupidity and your hypocrisy. Because either you agree with your Quran or you reject your Quran. So when Jesus was one and three in the same time, did he when he do any action, he was doing three three, three people were doing action or one person doing the action? CP Islam came in 632 AD. This is another sorry, question. Sorry. Did, did, uh, I don't I don't I don't I don't care. I, I, I'm asking you, don't change the topic. Don't change the question. When Jesus do the action according to the Quran teaching. 
Is that the spirit of Allah doing the action or the word of Allah doing the action or Isa the messenger doing the action? Which one of them? Or three of them in the same time? Is it is it is it like it's it's the messenger of God do like messenger they, they are they are same like it, it, the, the the three titles refer to the same person see the stupidity this no they are not the three titles they are not the three titles you see according to Islam the word is a word the spirit is a spirit and the man is a man so how the man is a word and a spirit and a word in the same time and the and the messenger is Jesus. <laughs> no problem. But this messenger, he is the word of God in the same time. And he is the spirit of God in the same time. But you are the one who is saying to me that you Christian, you believe that those are the three distinct uh, person. And you are saying to me, when one of them do an action, that's mean the other one is not doing an action. So when I ask you the same question, so is the word of God, it's now Jesus? You say yes. What happened to the word of God when Jesus became Jesus? What happened to it? See, the, the difference between my belief and your belief is that you believe that... Answer Jesus the question. When Jesus the became... When, believe, when the, oh, hold on. The Don't change the topic. The word is Jesus. Yes or no? Yes. Okay. When Did the word change its nature to be a man? The, like, like, I mean, like, the, 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 the word, like, Jesus is called as the word of God in Quran. Listen, this is another question. Jesus was the word. Okay. And then when Jesus yeah. became a man, what happened to the word? Jesus was, oh, okay, okay, see. Hmm. Jesus was the word of God and the spirit of God and the messenger of God. Hmm. And the spirit of God is the messenger of God. This and not, the messenger this of God the is the question. This is not the question. This is not the, the, this is not the question. Okay. Allah, he sent down his word to Mary. Okay, now Mary, she have Jesus. What happened to the word? Like, like the word is the spirit. It, it, Jesus is the... Jesus Guys, is the word is the spirit. spirit. The word of Allah is the spirit. Look, look, look. The word of Allah is the spirit. Did you hear it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But look what the Quran is saying. Okay, hold on, hold on. But the Quran saying, but the Quran counting three. He's not saying it's the same. He said... That Jesus is a messenger and is and the messenger of God is the spirit of God and the spirit of God is the word of God. <laughs> What's your doubt? So, guys, the spirit of God is the word of God and the messenger of God is the messenger of God. The spirit of God and the messenger of God and the word of God is the same as the message of God. What's your doubt? You just said to me three can be one. You just said to me just, three three different even in nature. You just you just agreed that the three who they are totally different in nature, they can be one. No, no, no. They, they are just names. They're not it's there is nothing like nature. They're they're one in nature. So they're the spirit the nature. spirit is, is a the spirit the spirit the, the spirit is a they're name. The names. spirit is a name is not really exist of Jesus is it a true real or this is fiction it is true okay but you just said it's not exist it's just a name names but he is a spirit he is a spirit is not a name he is saying he Allah is explaining to us who is Jesus this is not a name he said he is yeah, his, he is his word now you have not answered my question my question is did spirit create the like, I, have I am answering you this, this is why you are this is why you are escaping because because this verse getting you busted because if there are three how they can be one well here we go in the front of you how the spirit is a spirit yet it is jesus how the word is a word but yet it is jesus how the man is a man but yet it is jesus how the three and they are different in nature because the the word is not the man for it is a word of God, and the word of God is eternal, never die. Yes? Like Jesus is not the word of God in a literal sense. He's just like, he, he, he was created by the Lord. Just shut up. Guys, does it say, and he is a created by the word of God, or it says, and he is the word of God? By the way, we are losing connection. So in case I lost connection, we will come back later, maybe at night. I see that my, uh, my stream is going up and down. So in case we lost it, later at night we will come back. How many here people they are enjoying what we are doing? 
Don't forget please to subscribe and this is Mr. Sabil, he got busted with no mercy. Look at the coward. He said this is just a name. It doesn't say that. His word. Does it say the word name? Why are you fabricating his story? And his word. And the word of God is the power of God. Who is Jesus is the power of God. For God he do things by his words. He is the word. He is not a result of a word. Do you see it? When I say he is the word is not the same if I say and he is the creation of the word. The word of Allah is still the word of Allah will not change. It's going to be always the word. But look, in the case of the Messiah, he is the only one. He is the word of God and he is a spirit proceeding from him. So this spirit is different from others. Proceeding, I-N-G, never disconnected from God. It's a holy. This is why in chapter 19, verse number 19 says that Jesus is a pure, holy. He's what? He is a pure and holy. What, where he is getting his holiness from? For he is from heaven. And this is exactly agreement with Jesus saying, I am not from this earth. I am from heaven. The Muslims, some translation, they say righteous, doesn't say that. It says pure. Pure. And there's a huge difference between righteous and pure. Because righteous man can be anyone commit sin. And he asked God for forgiveness and he changed his lifestyle. Not necessarily. Actually, every righteous person is a sinner at the end of the day, all a human being. Look. The angel said, I am only a messenger. By the way, it doesn't say an angel here. It says, I am a messenger. I am only a messenger from your Lord to announce to you the gift of a holy son. And by the way, they changed it. The translation, it was always holy. Look at this. Look at the corruption of this cult. See? Holy son. And just to confirm that Jesus is different from everybody, when everyone is born, Shaitan, he touched him in the peninsula. Everyone, except Jesus. Let us see if we can find the hadith. Let us see. Again, if we lose connection, please just take a note. The internet is going up and down. I noticed that. Even Shaitan. When it's come to Jesus, there is a special treatment. He could not do what he do to everybody, including Muhammad. Uh, I'm just trying to find it in English. Okay. I don't like to mention something without giving the reference. Let's see. Uh, 
I think we found it. <clears throat> Every human being, read carefully. Every human being, which means including Muhammad. When a human being, and by the way, the translation is absolutely false, but we will go with it. When any human being is born, it doesn't say in that in Arabic. It says, Kullu bani Adam. Every son of Adam. And there's a huge difference between a human being and every son of Adam, which means from the time of Adam until now, there's no exception. Not every human being. Every son of Adam. When he is born, Satan touch him in both sides of his body with his two fingers, except Jesus, the son of Mary. When he tried, he failed. Why? For he is holy. Do you see it? Do you see it, people? Why? Why Shaitan could not do what he do to everybody? For Jesus is holy. As it's confirmed in the Quran, chapter 19, verse number 19. And the other Quran here, it says clearly that he is a word and he is a spirit. And the funny, this guy, he keeps saying to us, it's a name, but this is not a name. This is He is the one who said to me that Allah, he created by saying be. The word of Allah is not a name. You are a liar. You are very confused, Mr. Dr. Sabil. How many will take that the, the call of Mr. Sabir and publish it everywhere? Because it's getting late for me. I am here for many hours. I need a break. I'm, my mouth hurts from talking. Uh, somebody saying in Arabic, let us say that the Messiah is Allah. No, the Messiah is not Allah. Allah is the devil. The word that when the Arab Christian they use the word Allah, they are mistaken. Allah is the devil. Never say that. Allah is a moon god name forced on you upon the Islamic occupation. You open the Bible in Aramaic or in Greek or in Hebrew, you will not find such a word. There's names mentioned in the Bible Elohim, Jehovah. Like those, you know, they, even those are not even a name. You see, there's no name for God. When Musa says to, to God, what's your name? What I will tell my people? He said, I am who I am. That is Yahweh, which is not a name. I am who I am. The one is exists by myself. That is a description, not a name. For no name can describe him. Right? And when a Muslim he questioned the Trinity, ask yourself, why they don't question their God who have who have legs? He have you know he said to us, We don't do tamthil. Why? Because they don't dare to question. Tamthi, which means uh, make comprom like compare him with something else, like uh, he have a body, he have a shin, he have but he have those bodies, he have a shin, he have a foot, he have a sock, uh, uh, he have a face, he have eyes. So what do you mean we don't do tamthil? Because they don't dare to question the nature of their God. So how come you are questioning the nature of my God? Here you see the hypocrisy. Either you can question God about how he can be one and three, and then we can question the same question about your Allah. How he have no spirit, but yet he have a leg. And the leg is made from what? Silicone? And why Allah have a leg? And is, the, is this leg is alive or dead? If it's not, if it's not alive, this Allah is a dead body. He's an idol. If it's alive, will explain to us if you have no spirit. They don't dare to question their God, for they are hypocrite cowards. 
when Allah he have a foot question very simple question I don't care if Allah foot like like mine or not look my foot looks scary but Allah he have foot for what he plays a car there's a video of Muhammadan when he explained this hadith he says on Allah he put his a beautiful magnificent foot beautiful magnificent do you see the the, the stupidity so how Allah is one but yet he have hands are these our parts are they Allah is the foot of Allah is Allah is the foot of Allah connected to the head of Allah is there's a leg is there is an ass is there is a they don't dare to question so they play the game so Jesus is God Holy Spirit is God and the Father is God that's making three God no it make them one God because when you debate somebody about his belief you debate him about his belief not yours so if we believe there are three gods, then you can say to me there are three gods, and then I have to agree with you. But we don't believe in that. Later, later, Muhammad, you can call me Sabir. You can call me later. Dr. Sabir, you can call me later. I, I know I have enough for today. I'm here for many, how many hours? I, honestly, I have a headache. And I, my net is start uh, losing. So if I go late, or maybe tomorrow, you are welcome to call me. I like talking to you, by the way. Because... Maybe you are the smartest fool between the Abdul. You are what? The smartest fool between all the Abdul. Now listen, I'm willing to stay with you for coming three hours, if, unless I, I lose my internet. But do you promise me, if I go three hours more with you, which is not really easy for me to do, because I'm here for long, and... At least I need to make some tea to 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 let my throat uh, go from dry. If I stay with you, come in three hours. Do you promise to answer what I say to you, or you will play games? Okay, guys, let us do this. Me and Mister uh, Muhammad, we will go back online. Give me yes, please, if you agree. Give me yes, please, if you agree. Uh, let us say, I don't know, do you live in Europe or you live in, uh, where do you live, uh, Muhammad? Sabil, where do you live? You live in America, right? What time is good for you? How many hours from now you are ready to talk to me again? But I want a promise of a man that you will come. I don't make me come up only on online for nothing. He live in the world. Well, Sabir, we know where you are. We know where even your center, Sabir. Okay. So, do you promise me you will be here at eight third? No, that was hold on. Uh, at eight o'clock New York time. Do you promise to be here? Say yes. I'm waiting for your answer. You will be here tomorrow. No problem. Guys, he will be here tomorrow. No problem. So until I see you, if I if I have the strength to come again uh, today, I will come. If the Lord, he provide me with the strength because this is sitting here for many hours. It's not easy. And I have to close my windows and it's really hot. And I can turn the fan on because it makes noise for the microphone. It's very hot here. The windows are closed. And uh, speaking to Abdul's, 
give you a headache. But this is a great example of how this stupid cult function. They have a questions, but they don't ask the same question to themselves. And when we get them the answers, they play all kind of games to get away from it. But it doesn't work with us. We get you busted with no mercy. So thank you, Mr. Sabir, for calling. And I will be, again, I might be, again, late at night here. If the Lord, he provide me with strength to do it, I will rest a little bit. And if not, then we will be here tomorrow in the morning, the same as today, until we see you again. Uh, I pray to the Lord to, to keep you in good health and, 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 and worth. We pray that the Lord, he will protect the Christians, the Muslims, the Hindus, and the atheists and everybody from the evil of this corona. You know, we pray for the Muslims' health as we pray for the Christian health. And we encourage the Christians not to hate the Muslims. We are not here to hate them. We are here to get Muhammad, the devil busted. We are against the devil, not against the Muslims. Muslims are victims. They are fooled by the big fool, Satan, the father of all lies. If you like to join us in other channel, we have the quality of life, M27. Feel free to join us. There we speak about different topics, have nothing to do with Islam. If you like to subscribe. If you like to learn more about the cult of Islam, feel free to read my books. They are all over the internet. And actually, I have more books translated coming soon, like in Portuguese and other languages. They are coming to be published, and soon we will have them out. Until we see you again, guys, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord forgive us for being ignorant, for worshipping a false god. His name is Allah. May God forgive us for kissing black stone. May God forgive, forgive, forgive us for believing in a child molester to be a prophet. May God forgive us for ignoring him and following a stupid, funny book, disgusting book, have no morality, no ethic in it, promising us children in heaven, women in heaven who have no panties. May God forgive us for following a book teaching that we can beat our wives as if they are animals, yet animals have more rights than a Muslim woman in Islam. May God forgive us for all the sin we do, and I ask the Muslim to repent to Jesus before it is too late. For even your filthy prophet said that shaitan will melt in front of Jesus when he see him as salt disappear in water. That's what will happen to your Satan Muhammad when he see the Messiah. The Lord, the Savior, he is coming back. Even in your cult, you believe in that. So you better get ready. For the time will come, and you cannot say anymore, hmm, it is the time for sorrow. Take care, God bless you, and see you soon.